RP lo queremos dedicar a todos ustedes, nuestro público, nuestros amigos, en nuestro 25 aniversario de los Aguilares. Y también a las compañías grabadoras como lo es José Amorante, Armando Marroquín, Arnaldo Ramírez, Meni Guerra, Yanni González y Joey López, El Canelo. Y a todos nuestros amigos locutores, gracias amigos. Le inventaron shoutouts a todos los Aguilares. Nací en la frontera y acá de este lado. No más, cállate la boca, Shara. Los Aguilares. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special Tuesday Night Live. Hashtag PVP, papa. Es tetera Tuesday. So, si pescan la tetera, pues hoy es una buena noche porque vamos a tocar una musiquita toda madre y tenemos unos invitados. Cállate la boca, shut up. Les tuve que comprar avión y voz para que vinieran para mi casa, para acá, para el estudio de Hashtag PVP. Era tiempo que llegaban. We're going to talk to them in just a bit, ladies and gentlemen. We want to thank Dr. T's primary care for men and women. If you feel sluggish, tired, gain weight, you're looking for a primary care clinic to help improve your quality of life. Dr. T's primary care for men and women. Fíjate, si no has estado íntimo. Is that, that's what you say, right? Íntimo? Íntimo. Andale. Si no has estado íntimo con la baby doll. Te dicen el mesero porque nomás quieres hacer el sexo una vez por mes, ¿entiendes? Yeah. <laughs> Ese jale no jala, carnal. Porque ahí al, le llega el lechero a la vieja o algo, esto no me cállate la boca, shut up. Sale el chavalo bien güero y tú estás bien prieto y la chingada, no, hombre. So tienes que componer ese jale, bro. Tienes que ir a Dr. T's para que te den un testosterone, papá. ¡Ah! <risa> cállate la boca, shut up. Nomás que tienes side effects, el testosterone te va a hacer sentir a toda madre y pues hasta tu señora se va a levantar bien temprano a hacerte tortillas recién hechas. Vas a oír el palote a las 5 de la mañana, papá. Ok. Depends on how much testosterone you're taking. It's the 1-855-771-1650 or go to drtease.com. They're going to help you out. The quality of life, weight loss products, man, they got the best. If you're trying to lose some weight, and the best time to start a diet is right after summer, porque, you know, así para cuando llegue Thanksgiving, estás un poquito flaquito, ¿me entiendes? Te daste 300 libras a 380, you know what I mean? Para que tengas unos 40 libras, 20 libras para poder agregar el día de Thanksgiving, papá. ¿Entiendes la onda? I really need to go uh, to Dr. T's to get my IV vitamin infusion. It's been a while. Oh, those so are I good. I really need it. I really Instant need it. energy boost y también, pues, te, te ayuda el immune system y todo eso. Y, pues, dicen que el COVID está regresando y que quién sabe qué es eso. Tengan mucho cuidado. Also want to thank McAllen's new Tejano Country Hotspot. Man, oh man, Cobra's Bar and Grill, 2005 West Nolana Avenue in McAllen, Texas. Uh, los chamacos were there last Friday, and tonight they're here with us. We'll be talking to them in just a bit. Pero este fin de semana va a estar los iconics de Mike uh, Gonzalez, el hijo de Jimmy Gonzalez. Uh, they're going to be performing Friday night. And Rustic Rose will be opening up for them. And it's only 20 bucks to get in the coldest beer, the most delicious drinks and he got some awesome uh, appetizers and si te da hambre y te y te ya sabes como las 11 de la noche la la baby dog te está diciendo me está dando hambre vámonos ordena unos cheese sticks ordena no, tan bruto los hors d'oeuvres que tienen ahí Ay, yeah, the, hors d'oeuvres yeah the little co- the little corn on the cobs that they have there hey. and the wings are really really good tacho se saca that, la da the taquitos tell them what you did with the taquitos oh you know what I did with the taquitos le puse un mozzarella stick <laughs> en el medio del taquito carnal se hizo una quesadilla taquito bro oh, oh, no, madre, bro. <laughs> yeah, no marinara sauce no más el puro pinche no pero you gotta be creative sometimes tenía un hambre pesado cuando ella cobras con Lucky Joe Open Thursday through Saturday, live to Hanon Country Music, drink specials and delicious appetizers, taquitos, bottle service available. To reserve a table, contact them on Instagram, Cobras Bar and Grill. And if you go to their Instagram, they've got a calendar. Put up that calendar, babe. There's a little calendar for August, so you can see who's going to be performing this month. You've got the Iconics, and then you've got uh, Bobby Sanchez next Friday. Then the Desperados, los vatos que estaban mentando chingajo en stage, allá que sabe dónde era. San Antonio, ¿dónde era, güey? Something like that in San Antonio. San, en San Antonio, ¿verdad? Este, Lee, se llama Lee. What's their last name? Martínez, ¿verdad? ¿O no? Villarreal. Villarreal, ándale, los Villarreales. 
Man, al amor se dan la vuelta para acá para conocerlo. Sí, I've, never, I've met him once nomás. Uh, cuando estaban las chulas. Sí. Y, y pues, uh, you know, just go to their, their Instagram y te das cuenta, you know, what's going to happen at Cobras. And it's going to be fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. We've got uh, my wife, Rally. She's our producer. What's going on, sweetheart? Hey, shout out to everyone that's on the chat zone already. Frank Agüero, Big Guy Fitness, Power Metal, Fernando Lopez, Wyo Cruz, Sal in the House, Mario Flores, Mike Castilleja. What's up, guys? También tenemos al Jax taking care of the um, chat zone today, man. We've got some uh, people on the chat already, ¿verdad? Saludos, saludos, Dad. Este, sorry, ando bien entrado aquí en el chat zone. <laughs> Déjame les doy una, un shout out a la raza. Les dije que si me decían where they're watching from, I was going to send them a shout out. So, real quick, I want to send a shout out to Mario Flores from Far Texas. Saludos, Big Guy Fitness. Saludos, Marcos Morales. Edward Santos from San Antonio, Texas. Saludos, Rosie Ramirez from Lit Richland, Washington. Saludos, Josh Rodriguez from Richmond, Texas. Gilbert Garcia from San Marcos, Texas. Clem Priority Roofing from Dallas, Texas. Pats Ruiz Monterrey, Nuevo León. Orale, saludos hasta Monterrey. Belinda Adames, Orange Park, Florida. Were you, I mean, W. Y.O. Cruz, he is from Jordanton, Texas. Johnny Borges, ahorita anda en el 18-wheeler. He says he's in Fontana, California. He's going to Kansas City, Missouri, and he's Ooh, listening to us on the road. Awesome. Thank you, Johnny, for listening to us, and be careful on the road. Jimmy Polanco, he says, best podcast. It helps me get through delivering, so thank you so much for listening to us while you're delivering and on the job. It helps you go, uh, I'm pretty sure it helps you go <laughs> faster, so con madre. Frank Perez in Washington, también state, and he is also... Driving an 18 wheeler, so we got a bunch of truckers on the chat zone. So be careful on the road, guys. Thank you for listening to us and thank you for tuning in. Se van a tener que aventar los chamacos del troquero. Hoy no más. Quédate la boca, shut up, ladies and gentlemen. We've got los chamacos here, man, and uh, they're they haven't been on the show. Uh, we've had uh, Jaime on the show, but we never had chamacos. Y tenemos a Roel, man. Roel Jocelyn. How's it going, Roel? How you doing, It's bro? going. Thanks for the invite. Hey, thanks. Unexpected. Ya sé, carnal, ¿verdad? Unexpected. Así siempre jalan las cosas, ¿verdad, bro? Yeah, yeah. De That's repente, last minute, chinga. Siempre andamos en el last minute, chinga. You know, and, and I was on the way to the valley anyway, so. Hey. No, y todo salió bien. Everything's oh, yeah, fine. Everything's good. Órale, qué bueno, yes, Dad. Tenemos a... También tenemos a Ewi. Edward. Ordo Ordoñez, ¿verdad? Ordoñez, Ordoñez ¿verdad? Es Oye, Ewi. Yes, ¿Por qué te dicen chato, bro? I was small, gordito, pero todavía estoy, pero... Sí, right. <laughs> y parecías un chato, que ya sabes que es un so chato, like ¿verdad? That. It's, 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 that's what they call crabs, man, los chatos, ¿verdad? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Yo creía que te estaban diciendo, te dijían chato, porque pues siempre andas como Jax Phoenix, carnal. Bien <laughs> <laughs> chato, bien chato, no, bien chato. no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Oye, bro, so... Man, I haven't talked to you guys in a long time, bro. And, you know, a lot of things have happened since the last time I saw you. The last time I saw you guys, Jaime was still with you guys. Yeah. And then, you know, shit hit the fan, man. But I've never really been, like, aware of what exactly happened between you guys. I've heard, you know, I've heard that, you know, there was uh, some loan of some money and stuff like that. And, uh, but who would have thought that... You guys would have ended up with the name, a legendary name like Los Chamacos, right? It happens. Yeah. So, what what happened that time, man? Uh, what exactly happened? I I I I don't know the whole story. I don't know. You know, I, I know Jaime was on the show and he mentioned something about her. He couldn't talk about it. We couldn't even air the show. No, because he was, he was in need of money. He was, uh, you know, he needed some help, and. Uh, I helped him out. At the same time, I, I uh, we we did a contract. Mm -hmm. We did it right. I had to thank uh, Yvonne because she was our system manager at the time. She's the one who said we got to do this right. So we got to make a contract. Yeah, you know. No, to, you have to, to, to bro. protect yourself. And I yes, think, sir. I was just going to just help him out, just to help him out. Mm -hmm. But she went ahead, did the contract. We did it right, and it was a good thing that we did. Yeah, so. and we you you were with Jaime since like day one, right? I mean, te empezaste con él en qué año, carnal? La primera vez que los vi a ustedes fue en el Villarreal y eras tú y eras Juan P, era Manu y era Jaime, bro. Y ta, era el que le vas a dar album and, and well, the one where you all have the black boots and the blue. Yeah. What, is that is that que le vas a dar? Esa es mi muñequita. Ajá, esa esa. And I was blown away, bro. This must have been 1990. 
and you guys were playing and i remember manuel being on the side of the stage and i just had to go ask him for a drumstick bro because he freaking flew my you guys were ahead of a lot of like ahead of the times as far as the music the way you all were, were putting it together bro oh it's just i guess we spent too much time juntos sí. Oh, lo que sea, it's just one person. That's it. Yeah. Oye, y... You said my wife straightened my cap. <laughs> Ponme en la camera, babe. <laughs> a mí me gusta verme como winner takes him, babe. I can tell. I can tell. Cuando se ponen la gorra y tienen todo. Se mira todo parado la gorra. Esta cap es de Dallas Cowboys. Puede estar al revés, voltear al otro lado y la chingada chueca y la chingada. Los Cowboys, papá. Shout out to all the Cowboys fans in the house. Hey, eres Cowboy fan, chato? Of course. Órale. Y Roel, ¿tú le haces al NFL o no? I'm a Texas fan. Texans. Texas. Oh. So I, I like the Cowboys first and then the Texans. Ah, what I like that one. He's playing it safe. He's playing it safe. We got a Texan fans, no? We got a Texan fan. Somewhere over there. Oh, no, hombre. Somewhere. Oh, yeah. Ruben, bro. ¿Qué dice el público? Oye, chato. Llévame para la primera vez que conociste a Jaime, bro. ¿Qué año fue eso? Back in 85. ¿Y tú estabas en Alice, Texas? Sí, pues Juan came in. Juan P. Y luego his nephew got out. Ajá. Uh -huh. So me and Juan used to play together in, in Alice. Sí. And he said, hey, come help us out. I guess. So we, I was only helping two weeks and that's it. I did my two weeks. Le dije, Juan, I mean, es todo. Hey. hey. Like, ¿Y por qué oh, no más two thing. weeks le querías dar? Pues tenía trabajo and then I, I was playing with other bands. Sí. So eras un gun for hire. Yeah, but it's like I would make more in one night over there. <laughs> I would make the whole weekend I got one over here. <laughs> See, so so then you joined Jaime. You met Jaime. He was playing in Alice or what? Or yeah, he, he called you guys up and said, "Hey, let's let's start a band." No, because he used to come down to the Esto Lunes. The, remember those dances, Jolo Joe Lozano dances. Uh huh. Every Monday. Ahí en Alice, okay. Ahí en Alice. Ahí que tenían un convention center y un dance hall. Un VFW. Ah, un VFW. Orale. Everybody went mas. All the old wow, ones. man. So, so then Jaime came in, opened up Chamacos. <coughs> y luego Juan got in there and told his dad, you know, we can play. My camarada and another one. He's like, no, hombre, this age, you guys? Digo, Here's my number anytime you want to call me. Si le hablaron. Uh -huh. After David got out, Juan se fue. So then he called me, so went over there. Y luego, ¿Y qué tantos there? años tenías tú, güey? We were... Unos 15? 18, 17, 18. 17. Y chavalos y chingo de energía de madre, ¿no? Oye. Y cuando se juntaron y comenzaron a tocar, ¿qué les dio para hacer la música tan progresiva? Porque en estos tiempos, los conjuntos purists no los querían a ustedes, carnal. Uh -uh. Eso, no, están haciendo un desmadre con la música conjunto y que la chingada y que yeah. va bien rápida y por qué triplets en tamboras y que la chingada y sí. todo el otro. Pues ustedes le, le metieron el rock and roll, yeah. bro, a, a la no música. Había, no había cordonistas, like, you know, younger guys. Sí. I mean, we grew up with all those. Hey. Toda esa gente, los, los, los conjuntos. Pues Alice, man, is a conjunto town, yeah. bro. I mean, you got Mando Lichtenberger from there. You got mm -hmm. uh, right there in Green Acres. Tiene a, uh, los, a Rubén Naranjo, Naranjo Ricky uh, Naranjo. I mean, and they even have the Hall of Fame there, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, they have yeah. the they have the Hall of Fame there. They have it there. Yeah, yeah man. So I mean, it's it's rich with uh, accordion and conjunto culture there in Alice. Todo el tiempo. Y so empezaron. Jaime estaba en Houston. Le diste el número a tu papá. Yeah. Y de ahí ellos se fueron para atrás para Houston y que les dientó un cable long distance porque antes no había celular phone o nada. Era que te habló Colec, ¿verdad? <laughs> te habló Colec. Juan, Juan used to live todavía en Alice. Uh -huh. Juan vivía porque su familia lived there. So Juan vivía y vivía. Órale. Juan would, would call me up, güey, y estaban. Right. He goes, come help us out. Aquel uh, Ruben got out, su sobrino. Mm -hmm. So I just helped him out y ahí me quedé. Sí. ¿Por qué? Juan se fue y luego ya me quedé ahí. Y de ahí se fue Juan, y Juan nos dijo aquí en el programa por qué se salió y todo eso, yeah, ¿verdad? Y de ahí este, trajeron a el de Intocable. Yeah, a Johnny Lee. A Johnny Lee Rosas, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Antes que llegó Roel. Yeah. Y Johnny did about two albums, I think. Sí, uno le están brincando para arriba y uno, yeah, uno yeah. le están en suits, bro, suits, bien, bien yeah. slick de madre. Yeah. Y eso, and so that was you, Jaime, and then... Johnny y luego Hector. Cuando salió Manuel, entró Hector. Hector. ¿Y por qué se salió Manuel, bro? Manuel también, I don't... A lot of uh, 
no hablado con él or I haven't been able to talk to him yeah. and because you gotta bring him in yeah well, pues, it was the same same thing dinero yeah. así. Pues Henry también will always el oh, carnal de, oh, de yeah. Jaime no le pusía sí. atención ya yeah, Juan got out and you're the same way que esto y esto sí so yeah. then you guys continue through the 90s you would think that if the core of the band I mean the the nucleus which yeah. was Jaime right of course and then you had you guys mm -hmm. Muchos piensan cuando se des, hacen desband, se va a caer el grupo, ¿no? Pues levantaron a Roel después de Johnny well, Lee, ¿verdad? Yeah, we went to go pick up Roel. ¿Y cómo, cómo supieron de Roel? Roel, how long have you been playing music? Pues, what is it? Jocelyn, isn't that a musical last yeah, well, name? Well, my, my dad's René Jocelyn. Yeah. So, you know, he's in the same era as uh, Rubén Naranjo. Uh, what, some of the other bands, the older Chano bands. Cadena, Chano Cadena. Chano Cadena. Yeah. Okay. You know. So you grew up around the music, man. <coughs> Literally, yeah. Sí. ¿Y tú, yes. Chato, tus parents también, también tocaban o qué, carnal? Mi dad peleó culi ahí. Sí. Ahí tocaban las cantinillas y todo en las Texas. Mi carnal. Hey. Y, so, you guys come from, you Back know, ya, yeah, son second generation y la yeah. chinga. Y, pues, por eso se juntaron. So, le hablaron a Jocelyn y qué dices tú, Jocelyn? Hell yeah, I'm ready to go or what? No, actually, I was going to help him out for the weekend. ¿También? Yeah, también the weekend como, como Chato, nomás dos tocadas, <laughs> carnal. Just for the weekend. Yeah. weekend. Dos tocadas, o sea, 2023 yeah. todavía está aquí. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, yeah. bro. Yeah. And things happen, right? Yeah. 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 So, what hooked you in, man? What hooked you in that you said, you know what, I'll actually, do more than uh, that? the engineer, Big Sam, Sam Canales, is, a, is uh, the person that knew me. Mm -hmm. uh, he knew I played guitar. So he, I guess he figured I played bajo too. So um, kind of recommended me, uh -huh. and that's how it happened. Yeah, I remember you guys coming down to the radio station. I was working at ninety six point one KIWW, and you guys were doing, uh, you know, El Monito yeah. and all that that era, uh, Ex Novia. Those were pretty successful years for you guys, right? Those are those are good are times. Top. Yeah, it, was yeah. that like the pinnacle <laughs> of, of Chamacos? Is yeah. that the height that it got? And it was the '90s when you know all these record labels. What record label were you guys on back in the '90s? Was it Freddie Records Freddy or Freddie? Yeah, Freddie yeah, Records. Most of our stuff from Freddie. Yeah, y pues le pegaron con esas rolas, and you guys were playing what seven days a week, man. Everywhere. I got a calendar. I think out of 365 days, we would play like 240 days out of them. Man. Three That's days, one day at home, te fui a su otra vez. Y hasta a veces dos, yeah. tres tocadas por yeah. día, carnal, no. Estaba yeah. pegando bueno el jale back then, bro. We would do Houston, then we would fly back to uh, Valley. Y luego para Abilene, that area level. Estaban like, haciendo buena, buena lana, bro, back then. Estábamos. Estábamos, no, pues ca, todo yeah. tiene su época, todo carnal. Todo tiene su época, carnal. Todo we, tiene we, su we, época, we, especialmente we, la we, música, yeah. bro. Ahora nomás con una rola la haces y ahí si no haces algo más, yeah. no vas a hacer nada, ¿me entiendes? Pero para tener el longevity que han tenido ustedes en la música, bro, y todavía están jalando, bro. You know, oh, yeah. that's, that's, that's a blessing, bro. Well, that's it, awesome, it is, bro. And uh, después de todo el desmadre que estaba pasando, ¿entiendes? Oh, yeah. Que, you know, I mean, les robaron todo el equipo también. We'll talk about oh, that okay. in a bit. But I'm, when in the 90s, cuando tenían los, los two big albums like that, um, the money was coming in. You all were real happy. Everything was going well. Que, you know, te pegaba, les pagaban mensual o cada semana. Every o week, every week. Every week. Ca cash money or? Both. Sí. <laughs> Both. Cash, cash money está bruto, no? <laughs> 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 Hell yeah. Man. Oh. But you were working your asses off. Oh, yeah. A you lot. were earning every penny, man. Of course. Yeah. And then you got into the late 90s and, you know, Tejano started kind of winding wow. down. Orteño came in. Intocable came in. And Jaime de Anda y los chamacos was still going, right? Yeah. I mean, how, how much? Up to what year did you guys uh, stay together? You Because Jocelyn and you and Jaime were basically, because you all kept changing drummers too, right? Yeah. We only changed once. I ah, see. Sí? Hector left and then Ruben's oh. been here for Orale. 20, 23 years. Ahorita hablamos con Ruben. Ahorita lo traemos para acá. Put him on the spot, man. <laughs> Ruben. <laughs> hey. So, este, y de ahí... What was when was the last year that you guys, uh, you know, were together with with Jaime? I mean, well, hold on a second before we do that. Before we get to that part, well, let's go to uh, Jax uh, and find out what's going on. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you: if you have a question for these guys, you need to super chat it. 
All right. Whether it's a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, what happens is when you super chat the question, it stays on top and it gets highlighted. no se le pasa jacks, ¿me entiende la onda? But if you're just throwing questions in and through the chat, it's going so fast, and there's so many people from all over the country, all over the world, that it's hard for jacks to keep up with it and remember a certain question. So if you super chat it, it highlights on top, and you'll get your question asked to the guy, the boys de los chamacos, verdad? So. Uh, yeah. So what do we got, man? Well, uh, well, they, yeah. I mean, touching bases with what you're what you're saying, it's it's basically true. I mean, the chat zone is is going crazy right now. A lot of people are commenting, and there is a lot of questions, and it is hard to keep up. So the best way would be, you know, doing the super chat: one dollars, two dollars, five dollars. I think uh, I think over five dollars is when it gets highlighted. Ah, see, because what it gets highlighted in green with uh, from one to five dollars, I think. But then when it puts it at the very top, mm -hmm. that's when you do over five. I think uh, I think over or over ten. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um. But try it out, guys. And uh, I want to give a quick shout out here to the Rasa that is still. Um. I mean, everybody's going crazy right now. Shout out. Uh. The the ones that I got right now, real quick, is uh, Tony Benavides, Alicia Benavides, and Tony Benavides from Corpus Christi. Saludos, Osiel Zavala. Hello. Um, Tripitas, hello, Daniel Rios Dice, orale Jax from Amarillo Hello, hello Amarillo Eddie del Norte, dice, Califas in the casa Hello to Califas, California in the house So yeah, we're from coast to coast We're coast to coast right now Let's Richard go. Gonzalez, Alvin, Texas Gabriel Reina, DJ Gabe, Mission, Texas Carlitos Quinto, dice, Cubo, Cubo le Carlitos Jaime Rangel, dice, hello from San Angelo, Texas Saludos, Jimmy Polanco says Saludos from Seguin, Texas Marcos Morales, Houston, orale And I have a question here. Well, I have a, a comment here from Ramiro Maldonado Jr. says, I remember seeing Chato play acoustic bass guitar when they first came out back in 1999 at the Texas Stadium with Jimmy and Los Garcia Brothers. Oye nomás, yes, que right, anécdota. Right. right, so I told him, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mention it because yeah. I think that's a really nice that. You, you want to talk about that real quick? We, It's, uh, we were here at, her, at uh, como se llama, Melhart. Uh-huh. And there was an, an, yeah, and there was an acoustic bass when they first came out. Yeah. I bought one and they're like, Henry said, why don't you try it live and see what it does? But live, but the salad, you know, all that. Uh -huh. It vibrates too much. Uh -huh. No, it was good. Yeah. So I, I, that's why I played. I guess that's where you saw it. We saw it in the Texas yeah. Stadium, I am, Dallas, and yeah. it was at Irving, Texas. 1999. Oh, that's it right. Was, it was right. I remember it did it. Chingo de gente, bro. Oh, yeah. Estaba pegando duro en los nairis, no, la onda musical. Y luego García, pues, oh. had that. Oh yeah, he yeah, mentioned bro, Los Garcia yeah. Brothers. I love. Shout out to Los oh, Garcia yeah. Brothers. I fucking love, bro, 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 love bro. Los Garcia Brothers. Oh, yeah, Jimmy estaba vivo todavía yeah, cuando yeah, tocaron. Jimmy was still alive. Hey, wow, that's awesome, man. You guys played in a lot of awesome shows, bro. I mean, was that probably the highlight? Uh, Irving, Irving Stadium. I mean, a Texas Stadium where the Cowboys played, or was there some, some other? I mean, I need to remember. We did that one, and then we did uh, the Jerry Jones. Uh, Inside, oh, inside, inside, the, inside the, stadium. the stadium. That's right. See? Yeah. His, We got a super his, chat. His own, his own private, uh -huh. you know, the lounge he would stay at. Oh, he did, uh, Another radio station but they invited us. See. Sí. For private. Hey. Wow, bro. That That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Demo un super chat, carna. We got a super chat here. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Kenneth Huerta. He says, are the Chamacos going to make more music? That's his question. Ahorita sí, but... We were remodeling our studio. Ah, <laughs> sí. Tienen un studio. Ustedes todos yeah. graban en la casa ahora, bro, like ¿verdad? Real, That's the thing to do now. Yeah. The software nowadays, right, Rowan? Oh, It's yeah. freaking amazing, bro. I yeah. mean, we we're just talking about AI, artificial intelligence, on my, at Rock and Roll James on Instagram. If you follow me, I uh, shared a TikTok video that a PVT fan made, and they put Joe Rogan's voice on Joe Rogan, yeah. and they're they're saying, "Hey, this Tejano Rock and Roll James PVT and all that," and he's saying that it sounds just like him. <laughs> and then they put a voice on me, and I'm saying I'm responding, and I was like, "That's artificial intelligence." <laughs> yeah. We're just like talking it. about that, man. There's like, you, you know what? I have this thing called Chat GPT. If I say, "Write me a song about los chamacos," it'll write me a song lyrics and everything from whatever information that's online about you guys it'll just pick it up, pick it up and then wow. it'll write you a song corrido algo, whatever but it's pretty good like uh, whenever i have questions like i want to do a trivia question mm -hmm. i'll just put give me 10 trivia questions of the city of alice with answers and boom 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 selling questions of alice texas bro It's incredible. Back in the day when I was doing show prep for radio, I'd have to be there like an hour before and get all kinds of yeah. information, read the newspaper, all kinds of shit. Yeah. But uh, but now it's like it's totally changed, bro. 
It's totally changing. It's affecting the music, and it's affecting the music industry because there's some people yes. that can't sing worth a shit, and they're fucking making some money. Exactly. You know, they record and they put these effects on them, and it makes them sound amazing. And then you see them live, and it's like, a la madre, bro. Dale un chicle o algo, bro. But uh, so anyway, the hashtag PBT chat zone was brought to you by Top Floor Cars. Classic Cars Dealership, Brenham, Texas. Uh, awesome. Awesome place. If you're looking for a classic car, that's where you get them. Their classic cars and trucks have sold worldwide from Germany to Australia and all over the United States of America. Y esa troquita en Alas se guachara bruta, bro. Hell yeah. And uh, if you're looking for a specific vehicle or want to buy, sell, or trade, contact Tony or Carlos at 979-337-1006 or just go to topfloors.com. You can see some of their inventory and you can follow them on social media. I, I follow them on Instagram because they're always putting badass videos up of all the vehicles they got. And uh, you can follow them at YouTube as well because they also do them there as well. But as you can see, look at that classic car. Lo están subiendo y se lo van a llevar para otra parte de los Estados Unidos. Y salen de aquí de Brenham, Texas. Si tienes un carrito viejito que quieres a vender y no lo tienes, no lo quieres tratar vendiendo ahí en la, en la yarda de tu casa o algo, y habla con ellos and you can put it in there as consignment and everything. So, Top Floor Cars, Tony and Carlos, great people, been supporting Hashtag PVT for a long time, all the way from Brenham, Texas. Oh, yeah, baby. Also want to thank Joe's Master Service from Edinburgh, Texas. Si necesitas una U-Haul o necesitas el sticker, ¿verdad? porque ahí te dan el inspection también, te cambian el aceite, te componen la batería, le echan aire a las llantas, te chequean el aceite y le echan aceite y free on y todo eso, te balancean las llantas, todo lo que necesites. Aquí está Joe para decirte, vámonos Recio. May God bless you as he's blessed me. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Joe Garcia with Joe's Master and welcome to Brotherhood TV. Summer's around the corner and it's going to be a scorcher. If your air conditioning system's not working properly, chances are it's empty refrigerant or you got a bad compressor. Here at Joe's Master, we have the top alignment equipment to service and maintain your vehicle. Sometimes you tend to do the air conditioning by yourself and get nowhere and you still need to come to Joe's Master Service Center. We offer a one year warranty or 12,000 miles, whichever occurs first. So remember, Call or text 956-383-1882. For your service or appointment, visit my website, joesmaster.com. Muchas gracias al Brotherhood, Joe's Master Service, Edinburgh, Texas. Y pues tenemos a los chamacos here, ladies and gentlemen. Y tienen música, you can find it on YouTube. I got it on YouTube Music. They've got about seven songs out. And uh, Roel, so Sir. you guys were with Jaime till what year was it? 2018. 2018. It was the, uh, the end of uh, November, I believe. So the December. band started in 85 with Jaime de Anda, and it was 2018, man. I'm a, that's like 30-something years? 30, 35. 35 years, bro? 35 or 34. Somewhere there. Six, yeah. seven, eight. Yeah, about 34 years. Mm -hmm. And then I remember seeing that, you know, que se robaron la trela allá in, in, in Houston and... And there was a lot of conspiracy theories going on. I mean, they're, they're, they're actually asking a lot about that in the chat zone. They were asking about the stolen gear. Yeah, yeah. I was barely going to mention it. They say, no puedes decir nada. Chingo de conspiracy theories es lo que dicen ahora cuando es pura pinche chisme de toda la gente. Y para cuando le llega uno, ya pasó por cinco, siete y ya creció hasta una montaña el pedo, ¿me entiendes? But what exactly happened that time? Uh, I think Jaime t told told us, but um, I don't quite remember. So what exactly? You guys were in Houston. We, Where play, were we played in Houston at Herrera's, and um, we stayed the night. I think Jaime took off that night. He had a video to do with uh, La Tony, Sombra. Tony Guerrero. Right? Remember? Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's oh, up. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he went so to go do a off. video. Uh -huh. We stayed behind. We, st we spent the night. And we, you know, we got up from the hotel, whatever. We checked out. We went to go eat at Luby's. And when we came out, the, the everything was gone. They took, the whole, they took everything. They were. They took they, the whole vehicle. And, the uh, you know, some people were saying that it was a setup, Pique. You know, <laughs> it was because there was money owed and there was all this shit going on with, uh, you know, in between, in between the band. And, uh, que, you know, somebody had it taken and all that. And then. I read an article of this country artist that went into uh, Denny's in Houston, and he walked out, and their trailer was gone. 
I think it was going around a lot that, during that time. Well, th- yeah. this dude had a DeWalt, uh, you know, GPS tracker. Tracker that just es como un magnet y se yeah. lo puso dentro de la trailer, carnal. So they were following the trailer. Y llegaron a una warehouse, chingonona. Le hablaron a los cops, llegaron los cops, and the warehouse was full of stolen equipment, bro. And I said, ahí está lo de Jaime y, y los chamacos, carnal. It probably was. That's, there was actually an organization, a yeah. ring of people that were just following bands out of the gigs and then seeing where they stop. And I mean, I don't know. Did, didn't you guys have a lock on the freaking trailer? Because there's a little lock that le puedes meter en el bujerito. Yeah, we had all those. They took the whole van. They took the whole van. Como con toy van. Oh, yo creo que nomás la trailer. No, no. Everything was everything. in there. Oh, shit. And what yeah. did you guys think yeah. when you walked out, bro? What the fuck, yeah. bro? She yeah. got. It never was recovered? Nothing. Nah. I mean, Damn, we got our nothing. van and. The yeah, van. We, we got, got the, the van, van and, trailer. and trailer. That's about it. Pero everything was. Was. Esos jales, ¿te acuerdas de lo que we're talking about? That que según que era una banda de, de vatos, ¿no? That, that sí, they were, like, yeah. doing, they well, had like a whole yeah. warehouse, ¿no? Exactly. Well, that's what oh, I just shit. said, bro. <laughs> that's <laughs> what I was telling them about the warehouse, bro. There's actually it was video, like, too. There's video. I, I was that's reading the chat video. zone. My bad, my bad. Yeah, no, no, no. That's all right, bro. <laughs> it's a, it, that, that DeWalt. So, hey, I recommend everybody that's got a trailer with equipment, you put some type of tracking system in it because people will steal your yeah. shit. I mean, they will steal your shit and they'll leave you walking. You now know? we do. And uh, yeah, now we do. Now yeah, we, do. De chinga, <laughs> we had the iPads in there and they have a tracking thing, yeah. but uh-huh. the, it we, was we, turned off. Yeah. And you know what? As far as the speakers and the sound system and all that, it's all right. But the personal items like your guitars and your uh, yeah. accordions and your bajo sex. Ese jale lo que duele gacho, yeah. carnal. And not only that, the, the money for the weekend was there too. Sí. Oh, oh no, oh, yo no. siempre cargo la feria, carnal. Hell. <laughs> They had on all pinche payroll ahí la Big chingada. Pockets. Los dejaron sin nada. The only hey. thing they left it was Halloween so we were cholos. Uh-huh. They left my my cholo thing with that. Este me dejaron algo. No, no de ese oh eh, ese jale es de un homie carnal, ven y los busca carnal, déjaselo ahí carnal. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So <laughs> when you guys walked out of Lubis, hey Lubis, está bruto Lubis, no? Yeah. yeah. El pinche yeah, liver and onions, carnal, está bruto. <laughs> <laughs> ya estamos hablando de comida de la chingada. <laughs> so, este, so salieron de Lubis, shit was gone. You're in the middle of Houston. You guys leave, live in Alice. What happened next? You call the cops and then what? Call the cops three hours later. Yeah, they. I don't know. They took them a long time to get there. They, they weren't worried about it. They were just like whatever. Well, it's, you know, it's 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 minor yeah. compared to the big shit that happens in Houston, yeah. I guess, right? And so you waited there three hours at Luby. Se inventaron una cena también después o dessert no, o algo no, de I, perdido. I, I, <laughs> Ruben, Ruben was living in yeah. Houston, so uh, he came out and uh, oh, he gave me a ride to go get a rental. Oh, great, bro! So, to take everybody home. De buena que está Ruben ahí, no? Si no, un Uber de ahí hasta allá, les carna, cállate, te sale todo el pinche payroll, carna. ¿Qué payroll? No, no lo traigo en los ferias. Se fueran ido con el gordito, el gordito, el gordito, ¿verdad? El dedo. But, uh, so then, you know, you never recovered it, and then, no. what happened after that? You went and bought some new equipment, you got another, oh, you got the van and the trailer, you just needed uh, new equipment, right? Just new equipment, yeah. So who invested into that? Did the whole band put that together? You know how it goes. Hey, everybody, we're going to do a gig. Out of that, vamos a comparar este jale, the democratic way. So is that what you guys did or what? Uh, usually I invested in, okay. in equipment. Yeah. You financed I it. I did, yeah. You financed it. So um, And then when we got everything stolen, you know, I we needed to cut down expenses. Yeah. So, you know, I, I tried to cut down where I needed to cut down. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, some people didn't like it. So when um, you when you were with Jaime, uh, you you were handling all the financial stuff with yes. the Jaime, with the band. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you were handling that. Yeah. Y, y, ¿Cómo se llamaba Amador, verdad? You all had to David. manager David. David. ¿Qué, David? David. ¿Qué le pasó David? I don't know. Last time he was working at Walmart or something like that. But, I, I think it's in San Antonio. Uh, See, yeah. he was managing another band también. I remember. Uh, I remember. I ran oh. into him. He said, "Hey, tengo este grupo." Well, he was que... he opened out uh, Albert Zamora. He was opening him out. Ah, oh, orale. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it was. Yeah, so was Amador in the picture when this happened over there in Houston or no? No, no. Oh, so you were the one handling the what? You were doing the bookings and the financing and all that stuff. Trying right? to, yeah. See, it's it's not easy, bro. It's not easy, yeah. Yeah, you gotta. Keep I never up. wanted to to be in this pos- you know position at all. Yeah, ever. ever. And I so, was happy where I was at. Why did everybody decide you do it? Because uh, did y'all put you know pull straws or go? Uh, well, because draw I, straws. I, or <laughs> no, no, because I mean I was the one who helped them out yeah. financially. Oh, really? So. So you needed to get so since you 
had you already lent Jaime the money by that time? Or Oh, yeah, it, does. it was done back in 2016. Oh, okay, so that deal At was the in 2016. 20... 2015, actually in December, going into 2016. Orale. How did that whole thing come up, come apart? Uh, you know, how did it come about? Did, did Jaime ask you, or was what was going Actually, on? Actually, what was the, the situation? David, David's the one that always came up to me. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. you know, Jaime would never talk to me. Okay, it was always David doing, you know, the dirty, the work, diplomatic, so uh, you know, the middle guy. <laughs> so yeah. you know, he just said he needed some help and whatsoever, and so you know, we had a little talk, little meeting, and transaction was done, and that was about it. Mm -hmm. You know. And I remember that uh, you guys went to the Tejano station here locally one day. There was some shit going on, and it oh, was, bad. yeah, it got pretty tough, man. I mean, yeah. it was at uh, Super Tejano with, with Mando San Roman. <laughs> and I remember seeing video on Facebook, yeah. and it's Roel. And Roel was, you know, I've never seen yeah, this guy because... perturbed or mad or, but you were, you wanted to get things uh, straightened yeah. out with everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah, because I mean, he was saying some things that weren't true, you know. No, yeah, what were those things? What were they saying? Because I didn't, I caught like the last part. You know what I mean? If I can remember, I mean, uh, you guys remember? Oh, because I mean, I gave him a place to stay in Alice, right? Okay. Yeah, started so like you know, he was saying he was living in an infested apartment and this and that. I mean, it's like you know, I mean, it, it's not true. I mean, who doesn't have a little bit of roaches here or whatever going on? But it wasn't like the way the way he was saying. You know, I gave him a place yeah. to stay, you know. Yeah. Um, and if there's any problems, either call me or call a, a pest control. El, they, el Jacks you know. tiene chingo de roaches también en la casa, carna. <laughs> Pero de mota. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Not anymore, man. We finished it all the way to <laughs> the end. Yeah. Tienes el de la wire, no? El, el papiro con la wire. Ah, el que viene. Hey, you you remember, it? though. Yeah, 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 I remember those. Es un papiro <laughs> que tiene wire y pues se quema y pues no se pierde nada, carna. Well, 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 now we're more sophisticated. Now we have this thing that pinches. I'm sorry. So de ahí Jaime se movió de donde estaba de San Antonio se movió para acá contigo. Yeah, yeah. Y estaba viviendo ahí yeah. contigo él. Well, he was living in Dallas, uh, not with said, me, but he was living in Dallas. Oh, really? Y tenía un apartment ahí y todo. Yeah. Y pues ahí sí en rehearse y tocaban y todo y se iban de ahí el camino y todo, ¿verdad? So we won't, we don't rehearse. What's that? Yeah, no, sé, verdad. You guys don't need to rehearse no, anymore. Is, Even with new really songs, bro, you don't rehearse. Just, uh, just what we do there. Ya sale. Oh. ¿Verdad, bro? Yeah. Are you guys en el sueño de en, en, cuando están dormidos ¿Qué, qué tocan? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es yeah. yeah, bro. I mean, you guys do it with a hand behind your back, bro. You've been doing it for so long, man. Yeah. 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 And so, that one in Dallas, Texas, you were running the finances. Of the, 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 the trailer got ripped off, and then you bought, you financed the, the new equipment. And then you ended up lending Jaime some money in 2015. And well, how much was it, man? How much did you lend him, bro? <laughs> was it uh, was it a huge? I'd rather amount? not say. quería pedir un loño también, carnal. Por eso está bien no chinga. A ver si se mocha. Se te dejo el nombre PBT, carnal. Oye, dice Krabby Crab. Dice Krabby Crab in the chat zone. Dice the chamacos haven't aged, and and I agree with them. These guys look fucking young. Yeah, they do, bro. Me miro más jodido yo. They're the youngest looking. They're the youngest looking seventy year olds I've ever met, bro. <laughs> no, for real, you guys look young as fuck, especially with the, when you put I'm the. I'm just talking the about Chato. I got a Chato. How old are you, Chato? Seventy-four. Nah. <laughs> hey, now, now I, that we're now that I got your attention, I got Sebastian Silva uh, with another chat, uh, a super chat. Because guys, you don't. Type in super chat and then write your question. No, no. Actually, <laughs> actually send a hey. super chat like Sebastian Silva here. He says, ask them about meeting Juan P. Was talking about when they tried to play together and Jaime messed it up. Pues it, Juan P. habló de todo eso, no? Sí. Pues tú ibas a estar en, el, en la band también. It was the original yeah. chamaco with Manny, sí. right? So Juan called me. He goes, hey, hablé con Jaime and he wants a reunion. I don't think so. No, he said he's all right with you. Like, pues, if he's all right with me, but I didn't do nothing to him. No, li, no, listen nada. Whatever mm -hmm. they had is theirs. I go, no, 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 let's get together. So we got to Manuel's house. Pero le dije, is somebody going to be there? <laughs> you know, la otra parte de Jaime. Yeah. He's like, no, he told me, nomás el solo. Yeah. Like, sure. You're talking about Jaime's wife, right? Yeah. So, no, he's nomás solo. And I'm like, no, and I don't think he'll do that. Mm -hmm. So he's, 
No, hombre, everything's cool. So we got there, the manuals. And Mayo opens the door and he's like, <laughs> she's here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, llegamos ahí. And he, you know, he shaked everybody's hand. He looked at me. You know, I shook, shook my hand. ¿Cómo te Jaime? He just looked at me and took him about two minutes, but finally he gave me the hand. Mm -hmm. Then we started talking. And Juan is like, we can do this, we can do that. He's like, what's we? You know, what's in it for me? Mm -hmm. Like, nada, I mean, it's like, <laughs> we're not starting a band, it's just getting together and, you know, we'll do little concerts here. Let's see what it gets. Yeah. You know, really. Uh huh. Yeah, he said, quedó. So he's like, he goes, it's not going to work because I need her. And that's it. That's the way I move. Yeah. So Juan is like, what happened to you, brother? And, you know, yeah. Tu dijiste que nomás nosotros. Mm -hmm. Like back then. He's like, no, you already know, Juan. It's either her and me or no se hace nada. Sí. Okay. Then she turns around and she goes, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. And then she points to me, I especially don't trust you. Okay. What what's, what do you think is the issue of the trust there with you guys? Uh, I don't know. I mean, do, the, do you think it's because, you know, you didn't decide to, you know, go ahead and relinquish the name even though he owed you money or what? I mean. Well, it happened like that cuando me habló. He's like, hey, what are you going to do? In the mañana, well, they had it first. Mm -hmm. You know, him and Rael talked. And he calls me, what are you going to do now? I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, ¿te vas a quedar o te vas a ir? I'm like, what? He goes, well, I want my name back. You know, I already paid my dues in three years, and he, he should already have my name back. He goes, let's talk. I mean, then we'll, we'll see. No, no, he goes, tonight I'm leaving. ¿Te vas a ir o te vas a quedar? So then he brought it up. How come you never came when... Hey, no, you didn't give me a chance, you know? Vamos a hablar y qué va a pasar. Yeah. You know? Before you just throw me out. Would you have, then do you think you would have? I mean. No. Uh, no. I had to, we had to get things straightened out. What did you guys think when that happened, man? I mean, what's, like, you can't, like, okay, is this thing over? Or what should we do? Should we pick up the pieces? Obviously, this is what you're doing now. You picked yeah. up the pieces and you've uh, formed uh, the original guys from the 90s, right? Yeah. Ruben, you, and. And, and, and Ruel, and, um, but at that moment when, you know, shit hit the fan and Jaime left and he wanted his name back and all this, did you guys think, hey, man, we got to keep this thing going, I got the name, let's figure it out, or did, did you all get together and decide, you know what, we're going to keep rolling, man, because, you know, we got to make some money doing this, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Como fue Ruel? Well, this is what we do, you know, and, and uh, the way everything went down with me and him, you know, he just called me out of the blue. I would think I was in Corpus, and I don't know. He was, like, on a trip or something. He was just like, I want my I want my band back. I want my band back. My band back. He just kept repeating, repeating. So I was trying to talk to him. Jaime, Jaime, it's not the right time, man. You know, I said, if you want your band back, give me what you owe me, and I'll give it back to you. Well, it's all like, well, take what's in the bank and give it back to me. I said, it doesn't work that way. You know what I mean? I know you put three years, but... He also spent a lot of money, too. What does he mean by take what's in the bank or what? Whatever was in the bank mm -hmm. for me to take it and then give him back his company. Okay. You and see, there wasn't enough there in the bank for that? Well, not when you're spending like $35,000 <laughs> in one year in the company card. Yeah. And the next year you're spending 45000 Shoot. You know, man. so there's money owed still. Expenses? Okay. No, his well, expenses. His expenses. <laughs> see? Damn. Yeah. Yeah. So it was that, that it got kind of out of hand, the expenses, the money. Yeah. And so then he took off. You guys stayed there. Ruel's the rightful owner of the, of the name, Los Chamacos. And you guys decide we're going to find an accordion player, man. Yeah. Who did you get? We ended up getting uh, Hugo Moreno. Hugo Moreno. He's a local guy from Ellis? He's actually from uh, Diabo. Oh. Uh, Diabo. <laughs> Diabo, Texas. Diabo, How do you Texas. spell that? Debo. D I E B. It's Debo, no? Debo? Debo. Debo. D I B O. Yeah, yeah. Es un ranchito, una colonia allá cerca de Alice o qué? De Lufkin. De Lufkin. Órale. Yeah, yeah. Y se dejó venir, vamos. Let's jam. And did you have to go through different accordion players to try to figure out if you were going to find, or you already said, you know what, this guy will fit the bill? Well, they, so, they sent videos, and we were watching all the videos, and we just kind of went with that. Orale. We brought him in, and, and actually, Ruben's the one who actually knew him. Yeah. Sí. So, um, well, I saw a video. Put el video, babe. El video que tenemos aquí, este, de los chamacos, 
I was surprised when I saw this video. It's a Chamaco special. Has audio, right? Yeah, it has audio, baby. Put it up. And uh And I was uh, really surprised just <laughs> I was surprised that you're not on there. Yeah, I was, I was trying to retire. Trying to retire? No, sicko, bro. He stepped out for a while. I was I trying to out. retire. Yeah. Yeah. 35 years old. I was trying to retire. From the, you know, from being on stage. Yeah. yeah. I've been wanting to because I've been trying to get my dad going again. Uh-huh. You know, my dad's 81, I believe. And See. So I've been trying to get him going, going get him in the studio and everything else and just do mm-hmm. little gigs here and there. Yeah. Which I was, I've been, I was, we were able to. We did a couple of gigs, but See. I'm still trying to get him going. So I was yeah. trying to find somebody to replace me so I can go do something else. Yeah. And so you found uh, our good buddy T-Rex there. T-Rex. T-Rex. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The corpos, the corpitos. He ended <laughs> yeah. up going, was he with Jaime he before? With Jaime yeah. first. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I think the, one, the, one of the first times Jaime came to the show, he came with yeah. T Rex, yeah. and then I saw them him on the video. I'm like, well, okay, I guess he's with him now, with them now. <laughs> and uh, so I was like surprised to not see Roel. I was like, what happened to Roel, man? But honestly, and I knew you had you had to be somewhere because the name Chamacos. You know what I mean? Back in 2017, I talked to Jaime about it that I wanted to, you know, help my dad out and, and go jam with my dad again. Uh, and he didn't like the idea. And I recommended Ted. I, remem- I recommended uh, Primo from Corpus Primo. Mm-hmm. and Lawrence from Houston. Si. And he's like, no, 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 you need to stay. You need to stay. You need to stay. And, you know. and then a year later, he takes off. Si. You know, like, es que estabas corriendo el show, tu carnal. I mean, you know, you were running the Probably show. Probably so, no? man. But you know what? He wants, his, he, he wants his company back. Just pay what he owes. And So there's, the doors are still open for that. Again, I never wanted this. Yeah. I was just trying to help him out. So what if he does pay and take the name Los Chamacos back? Then what are you going to name the band? (laughs) (laughs) Ex-Chamacos. Ex-Novia. Los Chamacones. (laughs) (laughs) Ex-Novios. This guy, Roel, looks at me like, dude, he ain't never going to pay me back, bro. You know? I mean, you never know. I mean, you never Uh, know. I mean. In Mexico, they have a name for older gentlemen that look young. And it's uh, it's they call them chavorrucos. Chavorrucos. Well, that'd be a badass name, los chavorrucos. Y de ahí se inventan una música con, you know, tololoche y banda y la chingada, todo ese pedo. Los tolo, los tololoches. Tololoches. Este. Well, man, I'm, I'm really, you know, uh, and I got bummed out, man, because, uh, you know, all of you guys are my friends, bro. You know, yeah. I'm included, bro. I care a lot for him. And, uh, you know, I care a lot for you guys, man. I mean, we used to hang out and laugh and crack up and go have dinner and shit like that yeah. and throughout the 90s, bro, for a long time. But, you know, I've, you know, in the music business, you know, this kind of situation is prevalent. You know, but, you know, the nucleus. But it was interesting when Jaime left and then he didn't keep the name and then you guys got it and you went ahead and started rolling. And I'm really happy. I'm happy even though you didn't want to do it, Roel. I'm glad you still did it, you know, because... You know what? This is a name that's got legacy to it, bro. Yeah. Chamacos. And you can't just kill it, bro. You know what I mean? And you guys are capable of continuing with the name. So it's good that it's still the out thing there, is, bro. is this name goes back all the way to David the Under. Yeah, dude. You know, and his nephew, Ruben. Roots, I'm not bro. not sure who the drummer was. Uh, who was it? Rodriguez, right? Tony Rodriguez. He had a couple of them. Tony? Uh, the original letter, Tony. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it goes way back. Yeah. One P, Manual. You know, uh, Johnny Lee. Just like Jocelyn. Jocelyn, so the name Jocelyn. Everybody has a part in what we did together, you yeah. know. And when all this happened, you know, we got a lot of backlash from a lot of people, you know, a lot of haters or whatnot. You know, we, sh- we shouldn't be playing Jaime's music. I say we, we, we're a part of this. Mm-hmm. You know, how many other other bands, local bands, actually play what we do? There's a, sh- there's a shitload. We're competing against Shingles. every other local band. Yeah, everybody you know I mean? plays so, a Chamaco song, bro, you know. So it, it's... Why can't we? Yeah. If, you know, we're the actual ones that, it, it, we are the Tamakos. Well, I'm glad you, know you didn't mean? listen to the haters, bro. So, and I'm glad you guys uh, got into the studio and recorded some music, and you're making some videos. And, you know, it, it's 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 not an easy, I mean, how has, uh, you know, the new technology affected you guys, you know, as far as, uh, you know, right now you're not with any record label, right? No, no. No, you're independent. Independent. You do, you got your own studio. You guys can go in there, record your 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 creativity, your 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 thoughts and your and you know your songs, 
and you can release them online. And I mean, look at these bands like Frontera and all Close. these bands that just pull out a, a song. He's big, oh, yeah, yeah. Be, from three hundred dollars a night to thirty thousand dollars a night. That's fucking incredible, mm-hmm, bro. Yeah. That's something that you couldn't do with a record label uh, be- before. You know, a uh, record label tries to build you up, you know. Yeah, with the record labels, it's, it's a process. Yeah, it's a process. Yeah. And with this, it's just like instant gratification. And that's what everybody wants now. They want instant gratification. Yeah. But, you know, the thing is staying busy, recording music, and putting out videos, and, and playing, man. How's how's uh, the gigs coming along? You guys getting booked pretty good? You guys were here in McAllen last Friday. Yeah, um, the gigs are coming in, you know, but... Uh, the venues are very uh, limited, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's not like back in the 90s and all that. So, you know, plus, you know, the, the pay isn't as good as it should be. But yeah. you got to work with the club owners. You got to work with the promoters. Yeah. You know, and I appreciate you that not picking sides, you know. Oh, no, bro. You know what I mean? I mean, and, and if anybody, I mean. Like, because there's people that do that. You know, I mean, there's still yeah. promoters out there and club owners that pick sides. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you don't yeah. see us somewhere, it's because. Yeah. They're picking sides. And they're, they're, the, the, Haim is not with. Well, you know, you also got to think that, you know, it's not the complete Chamacos without Haim. A lot of people yeah. think that. I mean, we'll feel that because it was for 35 yeah. years, bro. Long you time. know, so they say, okay, well, since one of the, the main members is in there, it's got to go down a notch as far as pay. Or, but, uh, you know, I think if you guys just stick to your guns, man, and you just keep recording good quality music. But it goes both ways, right? Yeah. Because I don't think he sounds the same. Not, no. No disrespect to the musicians. They're great musicians. Yeah. But, you know, they don't sound like Chamacos. No. I mean, uh, you guys had a very... Uh, what was it that gave Chamacos a sound, bro? I don't know. If you go back in time, I mean, if you go back to David DeAnda days, I mean, it had a certain sound to it. Mm-hmm. And then David DeAnda leaves, and then Juan P comes in, and there's a different sound to it. Yeah. And then, you know, the sound just kept changing, but the sound's been the same, I would say, ever since I probably when I got in. The sound has stayed the same because it's, it's been the, the the background, which is Chato, yeah, myself, and it was Hector at the time, but now it's Ruben. And las voces, bro, and yeah, las voces was very distinct. The yeah. the accordion had its own style. The bajo sexto playing that came from Juan P. Moreno and into you, and yeah. you know what I mean. But Chato's the main vocalist, and a lot of people didn't know that. Yeah, yo no you know soy tu monito. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you still sing that song, man? They oh, get out yeah, there. Yeah. It's a classic, bro. They still ask for it. Yeah. yeah. The, the one I really like that you guys did was this one, bro. I mean, the live version, the live album that you and, and, and Hyman did together when you all were together. I mean, what year did this come out? 93, 94. 94, 95? Dude, this shit was hit big on the radio, oh, yeah. man. I love this fucking I mean, song. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's you know what this is probably like in the top three live Tejano albums yeah. live. You know Emilio Navaida, his live one was probably a second, and then Selena. But this one, bro, oh, I mean, compared to a lot of other ones that I've heard in you know through the years, this is one of the more memorable live recordings. Now, did you all record this really live, or was it in the studio and you added audience like Michael Salgado did once on his album? No, it was live. We were at uh, El Dorado Ranch. Yeah, every time we went to Houston, that's just like Houston. Like, See, yeah. yeah. It was bro. always, Damn. always packed. Man. All the wall. So that thing went through top to begin. I think I did one mistake that I went back and I recorded a little bit. But everything is there. Though, yeah. Like that. And you caught Everybody's, that little mistake. Yeah. The thing is, you caught it, right? You should have left it there. For <laughs> so, so when you all were in the studio at El Dorado, did they just record it off the board? Or did you all have software to record it? Or what? How did that happen, man? Because it has to be in tracks yeah. in order for you to take it into the studio and be able to clean up a dub, right? Yeah. I mean, clean up well, a I think Freddie Freddy 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 came in with a, a mobile uh, Se bro. Yeah. The guy that did it, he... Real, real good. You know, that's something about Freddie Records. It's always yeah. quality, dude. You know, right? I mean, well, we got to thank Freddie Records because that's where all the hits came from. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, of course. I mean, was Freddie Records. Was he kind of, was Freddie, was it Freddie Jr. that was kind of spearheading the, the songs for you to record and doing all that? Or was did you all have creative control where you could pick the songs you wanted? We, we were, I mean, I would come up with the songs, bring them out. But Freddie Martinez, senior. Senior. He would come up, okay, I got this. And what sí. do you think? But back then, it's like anything you throw out, it's 
Yeah. It was good. Which song from Freddie Martinez did you record that was a really good hit for you guys? Monito. Es El Monito. Ex-Novia. Yeah. Wow. Ex-Novia. Ex-Novia. So those are Freddie Martinez. Ex-Novia. You know who gave me Ex-Novia? Carlos Guzman. I was looking at him. Carlos Guzman. Carlos Guzman. Because he was going to record it for Freddie or what? I don't know. It was back. I think we did a, a concert here in El Valle. Yeah. Hey, I got a friend of mine que trae una canción. ¿Cómo se llama? Ex-Novia. Pues send it to me. No, dijo, si lo conoces. What's his name? Dijo, ¿te acuerdas de Mario Moreno? Del, What's up, baby dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He Carlos wrote, Moreno. Carlos Moreno. He's yeah. the one that wrote that. Yeah. Uh, but Moreno. dude, I love that song, bro, man. I mean, I mean hello, baby doll. I'm going to play hello, that song right doll. now. Esta, bro. Esta bruta, bro. This takes me back, yeah. man. All right, I want it. That's what I like about the show. We could play music. Right? <laughs> Shout out to our 500 viewers. Woo! <laughs> 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 Just reach 500. Hey, hey like I got the jacks. You <laughs> stepped right. on the singer. On the oh, my, 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 my. I got excited. Oh, I got, no, we so just hit I, the so 500 mark. 500 watching live. Es que dice hello, baby doll, bro. Watch out, watch out. Hey, hey. Hello, baby doll. Hello, baby doll. No, man. En donde quiera que estés, mi amor. Todavía te quiero, corazón. Mucho. Te la dedico a ti, baby. Thank you. Y desde que fui para Dr. T's, no te ha dejado dormir por tres semanas. Y gracias por las tortillas recién hechas en la mañana. Definitivamente. Yo sé que tarde o temprano tú vas a volver a mí. De nuevo. So Why what's no? up? <laughs> ah! I used to go, we, we used to go uh, dancing to that song back in 80, what no? 86 or something like yeah. that. Yeah, Chato's Maybe wife 80, is here. Yeah. She's in the studio audience. Ahí ves su studio audience, Carmen. We used to go to the, <laughs> <laughs> este lunes con uh, la semilla, man. Yeah. Good times, no, Chato? Oh, yeah. We're young and the music. I love Crazy. the 80s Tejano, bro. Oh, yeah. You know, 70s is, is good. But 80s, uh, you know, romance. Oh, you know, you had uh, Emilio Guerrero. Emilio. You know, Los Chachos. You had oh, yeah. Esteban Jordan. I mean, Carlos Miranda. Pio Trevino. Pio Trevino. Trevino and Magic. La Movida. I mean, dude. Awesome. Maz. What a golden La era. Mafia. Everybody. The 80s was like the, it was like the boiling pot that was going <laughs> to overspill in the 90s, yeah, dude. Was, put a orquesta and then we were right there in the middle of a... Conjunto and everybody was like, yeah. You guys put on a hell of a show, bro. The first time I ever saw you, I was totally knocked on my socks big time, bro. Because I was a heavy metal guy when I saw you guys. I was in a heavy metal, I've always been in a heavy metal, and I was in Iron Maiden and shit. And you know, the Clive Burr, the drummer, double bass, those uh -huh. And then I go and I see these guys, you know, because I work with a little radio station in Mission next to Voice called KITM Superstar 105, where I wasn't rock and roll, James. I was Jungle Jim at that oh, time. la madre! Ese es el nombre que me dio el patrón, bro. Digo, tú no eres rock and roll, James, aquí, canal, eres Jungle Jim. I said this story before here on the show. <laughs> jungle Jim. Pero... Me dice, oye, cuñado, a todos les dije, cuñado, cuñado, te voy a mandar a hacer un remoto allá en el Villarreal con los chamacos. Dije, ah, oh, bueno, está bueno, shit, I'm ready to go, man. I'm fucking yeah, 1990, three years in the business. I'm, I'm ready. And I went and I'd like, you guys started? And I was like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> this is freaking incredible, dude. Le tuve que pedir el drumstick a Manny. I wish I still had that damn drumstick, man. man. But, you know, I was, you guys were way ahead of your time, man. You guys were way ahead of your time. And then in the 90s. And so, I mean, and, and so the song, this guy, Carlos Moreno, he wrote. He wrote Ex-Novia. Ex-Novia. Yeah. Orale. Hablando. Man, dude, I can listen to classics all yeah, day oh, long. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. And this music was so easy to dance to, too, bro. Nomás te resbala bien padre. No necesita ni polvo en el piso, carnal. Sustame, güey. Es posible, and this is all stuff from that area, the yeah. coastal band where you guys are from. Man. Sí, Ricky Smith, que ya se, ya se murió por. Aquí tuve Pío Trevino, he was here on the show, man, and he, man, super interview, ¿verdad, babe? It was yes. awesome. Mm -hmm. And um, and I have a phone, right? I connected a phone. Y nos habló el hijo de Ricky Smith a darle las gracias yeah. a Pío, bro. 
And it was a real touching moment on the show, man. Extremely emotional. Yeah, really awesome. And uh, Bill, bro, I mean, his his life, you know, he grew up on King Ranch. And his dad was the guy that handled the horses. And he was a crooner. He was going to go to New York and become a, you know, Frank Sinatra type of guy. But he picked. He decided, you know, he had to choose between that or his mom, his mom, mm -hmm. you know, Pio's mom. So he, he he stayed over here and, you know, they raised Pio and Pio started doing music. A very incredible story. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, if you've never seen that interview with Pio Trevino Grupo Magic here on hashtag PVT, look it up. Hashtag PVT, hashtag Pio Trevino, and you'll find it, man. It's an incredible mm -hmm. story. Just like you guys. I mean, that, that area is so rich, man. Robstown, uh, you know, Bobby Naranjo. Y dirección. And you know what? As a matter of fact, now that I'm talking about drummers, Bobby Naranjo had a drummer that was like as good as Manny, bro. It was, uh, ¿Cómo se llamaba ese guy, bro? Pete, 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 Ernest, Pete Garza. Ernie, Ernie, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Ernest Ruiz. Ernie Ruiz. A ver, esta rola, yeah. bro. Ya. No me podemos estar aquí toda la noche, yeah. carnal. 600. The drummer. Oh, yeah. That's Pete Garza. It's como Manny. Para yeah. todas las babies de corpos. Oh, dude, mama. Hace el double con oh, el... Yeah. We used to play a lot con, con esto por eso. The drums. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Listen to the bass drum, folks. Did you grow up with this music too, Rene? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> Roel, Rene is your dad, right? Rene is my dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah Rene. Yeah. No, ¿Por qué oh, no yeah. te ponieron junior, bro? His older brother. That's my older brother. Ah, orale. <laughs> so, are you the youngest in your family? No, and no, I have a little brother. You have a little brother? Yeah. Orale, so, entonces tú eres el oldest. No, no, my oldest is, uh, oh, junior. Rene Junior. Just, you just said that, yeah. man. I'm just freaking out with this music, bro. <laughs> Takes you back, guys. Se me está yendo la onda, babe. La música de Bobby Naranjo, la voz de... El mero mero Jesse Iron Throat yeah. Serrata. Is it, he's from Robstown oh, yeah. too, right? Serratas. Yeah. Serratas. And you guys played with these guys back in the day. Oh, Bobby, we used to play a lot with Bobby. Bobby's an amazing musician, bro. Oh, yeah. I mean, I have a, a, an album where he's doing polkas. It's a polka yeah. album, and it's like he's got a freaking. He used to carry an accordion about 400 pounds. Oh, no, he, he was real skinny. Yeah. Like. Sí, <laughs> bro. Chromatic, right? Chromatic. Yeah. Color. yeah. So, you guys, uh, who do we have to call? Because, ladies and gentlemen, look, we've got viewers from all over the country, right? And uh, you guys are you guys will travel anywhere to play, right? What's the farthest you've traveled now as this unit, Chamacos? Everywhere, though, yeah. Uh, California, Florida, sí. you know. Y se van en una van para allá con trailer y GPS en la trailer o no? Ah, sí. Ay, güey. Pinche private jet. Fly like an eagle. A nosotros los vale más el climate change. Pinche jet, carnal. Yo me voy en el, en, en, ¿cómo se llama? En puro, en, en puro, en puro voz por lo que pasó con este pinche Richie Valen. Yo tengo miedo, dad. Oye, pues nomás dile que vienes de, de Venezuela, güey. Te dan un free bus right para Cali. De <risa> El, el gobernador está dando free bus ride, carnal. No necesitas ni qué pagar, carnal. ¿Te das un trip para pa Califas? Sale para Califas, Dad. Y te dejan en el mero centro de Los Ángeles. Ahí donde, <risa> donde esté una pinche drugstore, ahí voy a ir yo. Oye, oh. tenemos un super chat aquí de Rosie Ramirez. Dice, we got to see you in 2008 at the Tejano Convention in Vegas. ¿Oye? They put on a great show. Hello to my parents, Daniel and Juanita Ramirez from Wapato, Washington. Hey. Saludos. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah. Yeah. Bueno, y también uh, aquí había un, 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 uh, un gentleman that, that he didn't send a super chat, but he kept asking, the uh, he kept saying the same thing. So I'm just going gonna, gonna to go ahead and highlight <laughs> Yo no voy a pagar quick. ni un pinche cinco, no, no me lo voy a poner ten times. Nomás le puso super chat y le puso a hundred, y le puso a hundred dollars, <laughs> pero no los mandó. <laughs> So uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and um, and como quiera uh, 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 tell the the chamacos because I think it was funny uh, what he was saying. Es una uh, es una question o es un... it, it was just a uh, it was just a comment you know on this. Uh, Shout out to Aaron Holler. He's Parrillero the... Parrillero Tejano. He's from Harlingen, Texas. Dice dice los chamacos they're invited to my house. Tengo all you can eat chicken. Uh, ribs, pollo, todo, uh, fajita, pero it's in Harlingen. Yeah. So, oh. como quiera, thank you, Parrillero. Ahí está tu comment. Saludos. Es todo. No te 
antes. Sí. Hablando de el parrillero, si prendes la parrilla y quieres hacer algo diferente, pues, ah, pues nos aventamos un chorizo, un choriqueso. ¿eh? De Con H. El chorizo de HH, local family brand, great taste you grew up with. As a matter of fact, you know, el parrillero le va a gustar este video porque ese teniendo el bote prendida, Ahí pones el sauce, guacha Rubén, como está la, el choricito ahí, papá, sí. y le echas un queso, ¿eh? y parece la backyard de Edwin, de, de Chato, ¿verdad? Papá, eso, no más. Para, eso, para eso Rubén, Rubén sabe cocinar. El Rubén, oh, yeah. ahorita Rubén, lo vamos con Rubén, Rubén. lo vamos a traer para acá por la silla de, de Rubén para pa hablar con él. Este, <laughs> pero no, la chorizo de HH, you can find it at HEB now, ladies and gentlemen. That's they, the best. They signed a deal, and I think we have a list of the HEBs that, they, that they're in. Brownsville, San Benito, Harlingen, Mercedes, West Laco, Elsa, Dana, San Juan, Far, Edinburgh. Is yes, it, they have it at my HEB in Far. Yeah, in Far, Cage Boulevard. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do not have it at your HEB, you need to tell the market, hey, we need chorizo de HH. It's the best chorizo you can find on the market. Y no te salta el sartén y te deja todo pintado de aceite y la chingada cuando estás cocinando en la mañana con papas y huevos y todo ese pedo, ¿entiendes? Y le echas un poquito de queso ahí. No, no sale bruto. Y sabes que el chorizo con huevo, chorizo con papas, you can eat it at 10 o'clock at night, 11, 12. Antes un nightcap, en vez de comerte unos, uh, unos postostes, así dicen los postostes, right? The cereals. Postostes. Postostes. Así, ¿verdad? No. Son postostes, carnal. Okay. Postits. Yeah. Dude, that's, that's what Post aquí la raza would say. They would call yeah. all the cereals postostes. And it's because back in the day, our parents yeah, would buy post yeah. toasties. Yeah. Y so todos eran postostes. Y mi jefe siempre, el diamante, siempre compraba el, los cornflakes sin azúcar, carnal. Oh, no. Nadie se los comía, carnal. That's terrible. Y por eso los coyotes, ¿por qué compra de eso? No tienen sugar, nada. Pues por eso, porque se los sacaban de volar. <risa> y tienen azúcar. So, entonces, agarramos el bowl, ¿entiendes? Y le echamos cornflakes y le echamos leche y chingo de azúcar. Así, como cuatro cucharadas, Ajá, Y ¿no de ahí te estás tomando la leche y estás la montanita sí. de, de azúcar. Oh, que se was too cold. Y comienzas a, comienzas a slurp el, el azúcar. <risa> oh, shit. Y no me te pega un pinche high bruto, cara. Pinche <laughs> sugar high. <laughs> Oye, we, we got another super chat <laughs> here. Uh, thank, thank you, you everybody that's, uh, that, that, that's doing the, the super chats, man. That's about us. Uh, Mayito Tam says, Conjunto Bernal will be the inspiration of all Tejanos and Norteños. Bro, all these great bands have been inspired by them. Do you guys agree? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Sure. We agree with you, Maito. Thank you. Oh, it's Super crazy chat. how how he died and then his son died, right? Like yeah. a week or a couple of days later or something after the in un rosario algo así, bro. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, uh, like I always said, este, he's like the Beatles to our 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 culture, you know. So, you know, that guy's inspired a lot of uh, los chachos, all the musicians, bro. Yeah. Paulino Bernal, man. Wow. So, what's the number? Do, do we have your number where they can contact you? Is it? A, did you get it for the screen, babe, so they can put it in um, case you want to? You want to book those chamacos? No, we just they can find them on social media. Okay, uh, put on the social mm -hmm. media there so they can. Y vamos a traer a, a Ruben para acá yeah. para que se siente también a darle quebrada a Roel y este. Come on in, Ruben. Next, ladies and gentlemen. Y muchas gracias a todos los que están uh, checking us out. And I want to remind everybody. That uh, we're going to be in Eagle Pass this weekend. We'll tell you more about it Saturday. We got a big wrestling event to go do over there at Rody's Country Fried Chicken. And we want to thank them. Rody's Country Fried Chicken. And we'll tell you more about it in just a little bit. We got Ruben. El Ruben, el drummer. We we went over 600 right now. That's pretty cool. We got a big audience. Un big Shout out to awesome. everybody that's, uh, that's still here with us in the show. Oh, thank oye, you. For chato. You guys are still real popular, bro. I mean, there's still the popularity still there, man. We're people trying, want, we're trying. People want to, I mean, we're dude, that's, that's like the biggest audience we've wow. had. That's a big audience. On PBT, bro. We were like, at, I think Joey Jams had the record at about 520. Joey. 520. These oh, guys yeah. already surpassed 600 people. No, no that's a big chat. record. That's crazy. You guys man. are record breakers tonight. Yeah. Hell yeah. Awesome. Broke it. <laughs> Shout out to you yeah, guys, I man. Know, bro, that's awesome. <laughs> 
Tenemos a Ruben, el drummer. ¿Qué pasó, Ruben? Aquí nomás. Arrima uh, el micrófono más, así no te tienes que pasar. You can relax back in the big old chair. Ahí es, todo. Que es todo. I always watch, so, man, it feels good to be here. It's and awesome, welcome. bro. Thanks to you guys for having <laughs> us. Awesome. Yes. Uh, hey. And I am a Texan fan, man. Yeah, no, no hay pedo, carnal. We forgive you, bro. Right. Sí, uh, right. you know, ahí, ahí tenemos una paper bag si te la quieres poner <laughs> por el season van a estar perdiendo otra vez. Well, Chato says you're going to the uh, Super Bowl again. again. So. Uh, vamos a <laughs> Every year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. no, I'm kidding. I, I cheer for the Cowboys. I yeah. really do. You yeah. Know? Yeah. yeah. That sounded good, right? <laughs> yeah. sounded I cheer good. for the I cheer for the Texans when they're playing the Giants, the Redskins, you and... Uh, <laughs> Division. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I cheer for the Texans, bro. Uh, but how you doing, bro? I'm doing good. I'm, I'm very blessed uh, to be a part of this great organization see sí, bro after you know all this turmoil that's happened sí. you know um very blessed to be here 23 years with these guys ¿Siete? you know thanks to chato who still believes in me thank sí. you to roel who's who's kept us going you know sí. you know without him without these guys no se mueve el pedo right Neta, you Neta. so you know but um Thanks to the fans who keep us going, man. Sí, bro. We, we've heard all kinds of bad shit. <laughs> sí. Como que, que, se echan cagada en el ah, pinche. Pues. Social, mira, bro. Social media, don't take that too. You know, I mean, yo le digo, I'm, uh, el otro día, my, my daughter gets mad because I, I was just talking about the, the Bronco 956, that yeah, video that yeah. they, back behind the scenes here, and there was chingos of hate. And some guy just put, fuck rock and roll James. You know what I mean? Uh, and my daughter's <laughs> like, what? You know what I mean? She freak out. But it's like, yeah. hey, everybody's got yeah. an opinion. Uh, some people don't know me. Some people do personally. And they know who I am and what I am and yeah. what I stand for. Uh, and, but what I think is like, I told my daughter, mija, people, when he posted that, his friends saw that he posted that. And they'll say, so-and-so posted on this TikTok. So they're going to go there and check it out. And they're going to see Rock and Roll James. And if they don't know me, they're going to say, well, who the right. hell is Rock and Roll James? So they're going to go and check me out. And they might like me. They might not. But at mm -hmm. least it created traffic to my platform. And people can, were able to see what we're doing here. You know what I mean? So don't That means you're doing something right. I mean, you know, you know, if people are hating, the thing is, is they're engaging. That's right. the key nowadays is you're looking for engagement. When you put a video up, you want people to engage with mm, it. Absolutely. And then when they're engaging with it, their friends are seeing that they're engaging. So they engage. And then their friends, their friends, yeah. friends, see they're, right. and it just snowballs. And that's where you get the viral shit coming up. There you go. So, you know, uh, and it's crazy because ya sé como somos, bro. Pueden poner 100 comentarios con madre. Y da hay uno que te vienta la madre, carnal. ¿Entiendes? Y ese es el vato que te da coraje y se te olvida de todo lo bonito, ¿entiendes? So it bothers you, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, bro. I mean, you, you say I don't care about it, but of course it's going to bother you. Yeah. Because we work so hard to get what we're Yeah, at. yeah. You know, and, and, and just for somebody to, to throw a rock, como dicen, como decía mamá, te avientan piedras, you know? Uh -huh. But you got to take the hits, you know? Mm -hmm. You got to take the falls the way it come. But, yeah. you know, like I said, you know, we're still in the game. We're still going. You know, when everything went down, you know, we looked at each other. And Roel says, what are we going to do? We got to keep going. Mm -hmm. This is what we do. This yeah. is who we are. You know, we all come from conjunto background. I'm straight, bro. You know what I'm saying? So um, I, I play. I had the honor to play with Juan P. Moreno back in the days when he had the Renegades. I was sí. one of his drummers. Morale. Mingo Saldivar. Sí. I got to play with Mingo. Damn, that I guy's a lot from icon, bro. Yeah, yeah, Chato has his history. Sí. Ruben Aranco. I did sí. Ruben and I did uh, Juan Sin Fuentes. Yeah. Were those fun times when you guys were chavalos doing that shit, bro? Playing with those people, man. It was because yeah, you didn't care about the money back no, then. Bro. It was just, it was it the was rush, just, man. Yeah. You know? Animo carnal. And Roel, pues, he was a bass player for his dad for many years, los favoritos, you know? Uh -huh. So that's when we looked at each other and I told Roel, look, people are saying we're finished. Mm -hmm. And I told him, we're just getting started. Mm -hmm. We're going to mm -hmm. keep going. Yeah. You know, because the doubters make us go. The doubters are bringing us up. You know, it's unfortunate. You know, it's unfortunate what happened. I have, we have no hate towards Jaime. We really don't. Mm -hmm. We wish him all the best in the world. We wish him the best of luck. Yeah. You know, because at the end of the day, he has a life. He yeah. has to pay bills. He has, you know, he, he's got to make a life. He's got to make a living. So do we. Mm -hmm. So the animosity, the hate, it needs to stop already, man. 
you know. So it's still going on, all that shit. It's, it's still, still going out on? there, man. It's oh, there, yeah. you know. But we we try to we try to forget about that and just keep moving forward. I thought it had kind of like dissipated. You know, it's been it's been a long it's been a while. It was 2018, and then you know, COVID affected all of us, man. And the people that weren't prepared financially for COVID, especially musicians, they were the ones that struggled the most because there were no gigs. Right, yeah. There was, I mean, there were musicians, and some of the musicians that were high caliber in the 90s were doing Facebook for tips, bro. You know what I mean? Yep. So it was tough on everybody. But then COVID ended, and we got to get back up, dust ourselves off, and, and start hitting it again. And, uh, you know, it's like I was telling Roel, man, I'm, I'm really I'm happy that, you know, he's, he's, he's moving the name still. He's, he's keeping it relevant. Because there's so much history to the name Los Chamacos yep. since the days of, you know, uh, Jaime's dad and stuff. And, tennis. Oh. and uh, so I used to be a Weedle player. <laughs> See? I was six years old playing with Los, Los Chamacos, Raul de Anda. I've known Jaime since I was six years old. So, tú eres de Houston originally? I'm, I'm originally from Houston, Texas. Orale. ¿Y, te, y cómo levantaste tú la música o qué? Tu, tu Just, my, my family has always been in the bar business. My Orale. mom and dad owned a club. Uh -huh. uh, Mis Tios, they owned a club that still exists. It used to be La Ilusión back in the day. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, not, many people might not know this, but they were the first club that gave Los Chamacos de Raúl de Ando their first gig. Really? Back in the day, yeah. Wow, dude. That's and awesome. So they ended up being good friends with my family. So my grandma back in the day, she was alive. Boy, hace un menudo afterwards, after the dance. So Hyman yeah. and David will come over to my grandma's yeah, house. Yeah, man. Good so, times, man. Good times, yeah. good times. When everybody was in harmony. And those are the times, yeah. bro, that that's 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 the way it should have been all, all the time, bro. You yeah. know? And unfortunately, greed gets in the way, man. We'll see, bro. Yeah. You know? And, I mean, and, as, as it does in many bands. And having somebody in your every day. Yeah. Negativity. There's no positivity. No, dude. You got to get know? rid of that stuff. Yeah. So, and you got to move forward. You know, I just hope one day, you know, there's some type of, you know, tr you know, truce where everybody becomes friends and, uh, and, but you know, uh, do you think it'll ever get healed up, Chato? Probably. You think so? Yeah. I don't think you have faith in, in, in yeah. That. Why not? I, I mean, believe so. Cause man, we only live once, man, yeah. and you know we're getting older, and you know sometimes it's hard. It sucks having to take something to our grave and shit. You know what yeah, I mean? It's better sucks. to just fucking you know, let it let bygones be bygones with. Life's too short, bro. Yeah, dude. You know. And you guys are still jamming. That's great. Still going. Yeah. So the Houston, they went that this So you've been in the the bar. I'm glad my parents didn't have a bar, bro. I would have drank their profit, man. I would have like drank them out of business. getting high off your own supply. <laughs> hey, Dad, voy a abrir la cantina. Y la cerro también. I was crazy, bro. I have a story, dude, man. I was like, one time I went to this friend's store. He had a little mom and pop store in a corner of a neighborhood, barrio store, you know. Y ella el domingo en la mañana le anta vironga carne porque no vendían hasta las doce, ¿me entiendes? Y pues, you know, llegué ahí como las siete y estaba haciendo barbacoa el camarada. Le dije, hey, bro, no tiene una vironga carne tan no manecido que la chinga. And then he goes, Simón, right, métete a la freezer y agarra lo que quieras. Me metí a la freezer, güey, no me salí hasta las seis de la tarde de la freezer, carna. Ahí tuve toda la, todo el día, pues está en caliente afuera, bro, triple digit, ¿entiendes? Aquí está toda madre, toda la vironga. ¿Qué más quieres? Y le dije yo al cámara, eh, bro, cuando vino un vato a buscar un Gatorade, y dije, hey, ¿no tienes Gatorade, carnal? Y ahí salió mi mano con la Gatorade de atrás, como en el HGB commercial que sale el Orange Juice, carnal, esos dos chas de gale. Oh, Hombre, bro. Yeah, man. We got a super chat real quick here. Uh, from um, Jaime Espinosa, he says, "Who's going to be your new accordionist, or what's his name?" Or so, ya cambiaron accordion player, Ruben. Um, yeah, so we're in the transition right now. Um, huh? We've uh, we're looking for an accordion player right okay. now. Okay, so we got our good friend from uh, from Alice, Texas, Albert Albert Canales, Albert Canales. Uh, Nuevo Nuevo Oro, who's been helping us out. He's I remember that band. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's been there. He's they, they had they, they had like a hit back in the nineties yeah. too, right? They had a few, oh, two thousands. Well, they like had that. one song that was great, man. It was awesome. They, they did an old Sting there. song. Awesome. They did that old. Uh, you remember that song, the English song they redid? Conjunto Oro, right? You're yeah, talking about, yeah, dude. Oro. Yeah, I remember they came to the station and they had this CD, and yeah. one of the songs was fucking yeah. massive, bro. Yeah, he so he's helping us out right yeah. now till we find somebody. Because he's uh, got his own thing going. He's right? got his own Con, thing. Conjunto going, yeah. Oro still going on. Yeah, yeah. There's still so it's un nuevo Oro. Uh -huh. So he broke off from Conjunto Oro and he has his own 
Orale. something going on. Orale. But uh, thanks to him for for uh, helping us out, you know, and we really appreciate him and great friend yeah. of ours. Oye, chato, y, y pues qué tantos accordions llevan desde que se salió Jaime? Llevan dos, o, uno. nomás uno. Y, yeah. ¿Y quién era el que estaba de primero? Uh, Hugo. Hugo. Hugo came out there. ¿Y de dónde es Hugo? ¿De ahí de Alex? Uh, ah, the Dive Ball. You were saying that earlier. Yeah, Dive Ball. What a crazy yeah. name for a, a the town. Dive so what happened to him? He just got tired of playing or he didn't want to do it anymore or he has his own thing like Conjunto <laughs> Oro, you know? It's just, uh, es otra historia. No quería hacer caso. No. <laughs> de, de que de porear, porear mucho. Everything. Okay. everything. Sí. Uh, we'll bring Roel in for that one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah no. Everything, that, I mean, it's, it's nothing bad. We just... No, hey, I mean, he... he, he I mean, fit, and that's another you know thing. I mean? Thank, thanks to him because, you know, a lot of people <laughs> a lot of people don't realize, you know, filling Jaime's shoes is some big shoes mm, to cabrón, feel. bro, yeah. Cabrón, you know, so he's a great musician and I have a lot of respect for him. I really do. It's unfortunate the way things went down. Mm -hmm. But... Like I said, we have a lot of respect for him, and we want to thank him for four years. He gave us yeah. four years, you know. Um, unfortunately, sometimes things don't work out. Did you know? have to let him go, or he quit, or did you tell him, "Hey, man, we we can't sustain um, this uh, this uh, this type of lifestyle anymore"? Or what? I think he I think he fired himself. See? To be honest with you, he you just know? he just he just I guess it was just to a point to where it's just maybe it was just too far for him. Uh -huh. And he just didn't, you know. Bien lejos dibu. Yeah, love que no está love que. About two, it's about two days away. The en avión. Love que que no está love que. Está cerquita de Austin or Dallas. It's East Texas. East Texas. Oh, allá para Houston, no está Houston. Yeah. Wow. Orale. Yeah. yeah, that's a long jaunt, man, yeah. all the way to Alice, bro. Yeah, but dude has he has great talent. Sí. He really does. ¿Y qué está haciendo ahorita? Have you do you all do you all still talk? ¿O quedaron mal? Okay. Uh, no, oh. I mean Roel has communicated with him. Sí. Um, I don't know what he's doing at the moment, but I mean he wouldn't have a problem finding, you know, Work. a band to play with. Yeah, yeah. He, he's a great musician. Sí. And I have a lot of respect for him for that. Yeah. And and again, thank you very much, Hugo, for for what you gave us. You know. So el vato le puso y de ahí le estaban hablando y no contestaba que okay, ghosting you on shit like that. You know that happens. <laughs> Musicians can't tell people anything, bro. I mean, they don't like oh, confrontation, yeah. bro. They have to let somebody else tell you, bro. They or they'll just keep quiet and they'll just like they, you know. I mean, right. Así son los músicos, happens, ¿verdad, yeah. bro? Los músicos no quieren los músicos a, a, a decir, hey, ya no quiero jalar aquí o algo. I mean, we always yeah. have that little, you know, we don't like to hurt nobody's feelings, bro. You know what I mean? We well, always want to keep that door open. Yeah, también, you know bro. I mean? It's so, just, uh, pero así es la música, bro. Yeah, así es. Yeah. And so now you got another guy, el de Conjunto Oro, who's just filling He's in. Just so filling in right now. if there's somebody watching the show right yes. now, you know, that uh, plays accordion, accordion. Uh, I would recommend you guys uh, do a YouTube video, upload it, and send it to these guys on their social media because that's the way you found the other guy, right? Right. Yeah. Through like uh, videos, you know, they were sending videos. Roel was saying they were sending videos. So right? we, we would go play in Lovekin in that area, and I was friends with Hugo on Facebook, you uh -huh. know. He was he would come out to the shows and support. He, I mean, he's a big Jaime de Anda fan. See, sí. so he would you know study the music, hasta los bailes también. He yeah. had it down, you know. Yeah. And uh, he would come out. He was, I would be the one talking pretty much because, I mean, back in the day, Henry would have us, you know, we got to stay in the van. Yeah. When it's time to play, then we get off. Yeah. I was the type of guy that, the musician, that I would like to go check out the bands before we would play yeah. because it was like a hype. Simone. So I was, I was the one that, you know, would go out there and talk to the musicians. I was siempre, guys, hey, what's up, Ruben? Hey, what's going on? You know, you know, I'm on Facebook. Okay. So, you know, we exchange, you know, Facebook pages or whatever. And then uh, when everything went down, I was like looking on Facebook and I remember Roel saying, we need to find an accordion player in ASAP. I said, all right. So I was looking. I remembered about Hugo. So I went on on his page and I found him and I messaged him on Messenger. Mm -hmm. I said, hey, are you playing with anybody right now at the, at the moment? He says, actually, no, bro, I'm not. I said, do me a favor. Send me some videos of you playing our music and singing. He says, what song do you want me to learn? I said, learn como te llamas Paloma and sing it. Mm -hmm. And he said, got you. Within maybe 20 minutes, he sent it to me. And then that's when I forwarded it to Roel. Yeah. And the dude was on point. Yeah. He was on point. And then these guys were like, well, let's bring him in for an interview. Yeah. When I, like for an audition. See. Si. And so I remember he picked me up. He picked me up in Houston. And I said, hey, bro. I said, he was real. He was real nervous. You know, and uh, I said, um. You want to stop here in Goliad, man? Because, I mean, I have a lot of friends in Beeville, Goliad, Victoria. He's like, he's like, yeah, let's stop by there. I said, I got a friend of mine named Leo, man. Let's let's stop by there and, and, and meet him. Uh -huh. and meet him. 
bajo player, right? Sí. So we get there and pues, Leo has a six pack right there, hey, you know? Yeah, so he opens up a six, uh, his, his beer, right? And we start drinking or whatever. And I was like, you good to go already? We already had like three beers, you know? Yeah, I wanted to get right. the nerves off of him. Mm -hmm. So we take off and then I said, hey, man, uh, I know this buddy of mine that, that lives in Beeville. Mm -hmm. So it's Goliath, Beeville. We stopped in Beeville and we had another beer. And then from Beeville, los fuimos pa' Matis. Y pues cuando llegamos, ya andan medio buzzing. Oh, my gosh. But he did good. No, I mean, pero voy a sacar a pinche de carnal. But I was, trying to, I was trying to get him to relax, yeah, yeah. you know. So, I mean, he did great. He audition went well. And, and the rest was history, you know. He gave us good four years. And, yeah. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, like I said, it... it Things happen, and yeah. we had to move on. No, pues así es. And, uh, then, you know, that's a trick uh, about it. You got to find an accordion that sings también. Exactly. You know, and, that, and that, that'll blend good with it. We had yeah, last year la segunda, and then he sings la right. primera sometimes on some songs. But uh, you were talking about Como Te Amas, Paloma, bro. What's a song that when you play it, La Raza se, like, boom. I mean, out of all the songs you all do, bro, which is the song? Is it Como Te Amas, Paloma? or That's everything. That one's one Complejo. of them. I, I would say Pajaro Negro. Pajaro, Pajaro Negro. Negro? Yeah. Yeah. So they start seeing, they start hearing that that rock riff, you know? Yeah, and, yeah. And it, it pumps the people up, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man. And then the second one, I mean, como, I remember Como Te Ama Paloma, the musicians were, like, hating on that song because of the <laughs> vocals, bro. They sounded kind of, like, off, but it was such a big hit. And to me, it's like, that doesn't matter to people. There's something about a song, and you don't know what it is. It, the singing doesn't even have to be perfect. As long as it has a tempo, man. I know, beat, dude. You know? And I, it's like, because Como Te Amas Paloma was probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest hit you all ever did, right? I would say so. Yeah. Man, I, I mean, I was before me. Hector was in the band back then. Sí. ¿Y qué dice el Hector? No han hablado con él. Hector, yo Hector's creo que ahorita a lo mejor está pisteando ahorita. Sí. Hector. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Not Hector. <laughs> Hector's in San Marcos, San I think. Marcos. Sí. He comes around, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's best friends con Roel, so, you know, he comes and hangs out with us a veces. But uh, he he I want to thank Hector because he was one of the drummers that paved the way for me. Mm -hmm. My idol was Manuel. Sí. I mean, when we used to see Mamadas, that yeah. dude was that That's, dude was the yeah. drummer for Chamacos. Ese era el Neil Peart. Andale. De conjunto, carnal. Andale. El de Rush. Yep. That's un saludo para Manuel también. Yeah. I think he's watching right yeah, now. Huevo. Y Juan P también, un saludo. Y, Juan P, y saludos. Jaime también, un saludo, Jaime. Saludos Te para queremos Jaime. chingo, Jaime. Yeah. Órale. But you know what I would like to see, honestly? All, all bullshit aside, man. I would like to see that reunion, man. Oh, yeah. That would bring back memories for me. I'd buy a ticket. I would, too. A lot, I'll, everyone here I'll in the chat's on Will. Front row. I'll be Manuel's drum tech. Yeah. Okay, just to get in for free. I would I would, <laughs> I would see, uh, I could see all of you guys, you know, jumping in and Could've doing something all everybody. together. Like yeah. a, just a big old family, bro. That would yeah. be nice. And you do one show like that and it's going to be sold out, you the, know? The fans deserve it, man. Yeah. And, and then Jaime can do his thing with somebody. You do your guys thing and then you guys get together at the end. Dude, even Maz got back together, bro. Yep. You know, who would have thought that Joe and Jimmy would have ever gotten back together? They got back together and they had a very successful tour until, you know, what happened with Joe and stuff. Yeah. But they were filling up every place. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, I guess in the music industry, you can never say never, bro. Yeah, that's <laughs> you right. know, and you can't say that. I'm thinking of retiring. Como Roy la caca. Como que estaba retirado. Que está retirado. Sí, the, guy's bro. <laughs> the guy's like second generation his dad's uh, a pioneer and i'm gonna retire no 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 yeah he's, 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 his dad's still playing at 80 oh, yeah. what 81 82 roel's got vampire blood bro. yeah see yeah. ¿sí, verdad <laughs> <laughs> yeah no más no se pongan ajo en la rodela porque chinga no, no llega roel <laughs> They said Mart Favila from the chat zone. I'll carry Chato's bass for him. Y la acoustic todavía la tienes o se la robaron en la trailer? No, esa la tengo. Órale. I want to thank uh, las maquinitas de Falcón Game Room ahí en la ciudad Woo! de Falcón. Yeah. 5829 o oh, 5029. Chica, necesito mis lentes. US Highway 83. Pasas Roma y le sigues dando y las maquinitas de Falcón ahí está. Open every day, 11 a.m. to 2 a.m. Matches $10 at opening, $20 at 7.30 p.m., $20 11 p.m. Promotional weekend, only $50 at 11 p.m. With holidays, lleva la van, llena la gente, y llévatelos y se van a dar una buena diversión. Mira nomás cómo se llena ira. 
qué bárbaro. Y gana Suecia. Mira nomás. Ahí no andan con un pollito, andan con chingo de pollo y brisket y la chingada. Te dan un platito porque no quieren que te vayas a ir a comer, porque ahí puedes comer y ahí puedes ganar. Adult daycares get half chicken on the house. Lunch plates, $5 towards their $10 match. Call for reservations before opening to the public. Contact Myrna, Myrna, R. Myrna at rocketmail.com. If you want to, and there she is right there. She's going to be on our show at the end of the month. I can't wait to have her on. She's uh, the star of our uh, music video, MILF, with my band, Whiskey D. But check out the winners. I mean, they they don't, ahí no nomás ganan los $20, 30. Ahí se ganan $11,000, papá. Ahí no más. Let's go. $10,000, $930. Cre- These are real people, La, la yes. sonrisa. And Esa you, only, se you, only, you only take $5,000 home, but they keep them taxes. N- no, 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 no. Tú te encargas de todo eso, te digo, nomás te dan la feria. <laughs> but uh, go, go back, babe. I mean, go back to that video again. I was checking it out. One of them, okay, that one. Is eleven thousand, yeah. and then that one. Look at the smile on her face. Ten thousand, almost eleven. And then this lady, she sounds like she's a, in the witness protection. She looks like she's in the witness protection. <laughs> no quiere que la mire la family. Yeah, yeah. No, van a ser mis primos allá de donde quieran. Dice, no me pongas. Dice, pues quítale la luz porque me va a reconocer mi tía. Chinga, le debo feria. Así saliera yo, carnal. No, hombre de volante, digan carnal. Le digo, más ponme los lentes y la chingada, una pinche barba de mentiras. Hey, Rock, ¿te acuerdas de mí, carnal? I stood behind you in lunch line second grade, carnal. ¿Te acuerdas? Oh, my God. Y no traes un loan, carnal. Remember you, were gonna, you said you were going to buy me a car? <laughs> When we grow up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like how they use the, the Phoenix on the new, they have a Phoenix on the new video. I don't know if you can play it again, that when it's where it starts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where it starts. yeah. They have a, look at that. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm Jack Phoenix. Thank you for putting the Phoenix so. there. <laughs> hey, manda, manda un cis in the cis, carna. You <laughs> cannot use that Phoenix <laughs> because I am the sole owner of that. You're going to have to make a contract like Los Chamacos. Yeah. <laughs> so you can use that Phoenix. I'm playing. We're gonna, uh, we love you. We love it. It's beautiful. Thank you for using the Phoenix. <laughs> we're we're going to be going to Las Maquinitas de Falcón. My suegros like going, oh, yeah, and Alice no tienen maquinitas. Hey, cerraron no, todos. No cerraron todos. Undercover. No. Yeah. Oh. No. Hombre, no, pues aquí en Falcón, man, si quieren darse la vuelta, no está tan lejos de Alex. Right. We'll ya, yeah, le dan para allá y nombre y está la comida toda madre y te gana una feriecita, bueno, carnal. No, te distraes. No. What do you guys do? Do you guys do what do you guys do for fun? I mean, what do you uh, I like I like to play golf. And ah, órale, está bueno. Un poquito de pool, you know. Simón. Yeah. ¿Y tú, chato? I like the ball. Ah, ball sí. Oh, yeah, he's a badass Yo creo que ibas a decir tenis o algo así. Carnal. <laughs> I was getting there. I'm getting a tennis there. player. <laughs> hey, Roel, what does he do for fun, man? Roel. Yes, Roel, nah. Watch movies. Oh, Watch yeah. TV. <laughs> Puro YouTube. Popcorn. Popcorn. <laughs> Want to thank the Green Hit. They offer a natural alternative for stress and pain. Various CBD-infused oils, lotions, edibles, gummies, even inhalants to combat and recuperate the body and mind. Si tienes a problema durmiendo, ahí tienen algo que te puedes sentar un gummy. No, hombre, cállate y duermes bien padre. Si tienes chingo de cosas en la mente y no puedes dormir y eres como yo que te levantas en la mañana a las 3 a ir al baño y ahí regresas a la cama y no te puedes dormir porque estás pensando todo lo que tienes que hacer el siguiente día. Si te tomas un gummy antes de acostarte, no me cállate la boca, shut up. Vas a regresar del baño y te vas a comenzar a roncar de volada, papá. The detoxes can help purge out all the toxins from your body. Full body mental relaxation. Veterans are always welcome. Mira, esos pues tienes que tener mucho cuidado. Nomás dale una mordidita. No te lo comas todo porque te da powder space. Veterans are always welcome and they always have special discounts. They have the most knowledgeable staff. También, you can find them in Far Texas, uh-huh. and uh, you can also find them in Mission, and you can find them on social media, on Instagram. Follow them. That's where you find all the great deals. And if you tell them PVT, you get a discount automatically. If you're a veteran, you get a discount plus the PVT. That's another discount. You're gonna be doing good at the Green Hit. All right. We love the Green Hit. Yes, sir. We're number one customers. <laughs> and then we're going to. Ahorita eat. me eché uno de estos de que no se nos olvide. Tan brutos. Tan bruto. Those are awesome green drinks. Hit. You don't have to drink a six pack or a twelve pack. You drink one of those, and you're gonna be feeling really cool, chill, mellow, and you know. No te a ver, sa- no tiene rule, no. Hay unos, hay Simón, tráele una. Tráele una. Simón, es todo. Este, <laughs> la cosa para mí el alcohol me acelera, bro. A mí yo yeah. comienzo a pistear y quiero correr todo el pin de noche hasta <laughs> three, four days y la chingada. Back in the day, ¿entiendes? Pero ya no. Whatever. El que sea, nomás traele el gummy, gummy, gummy bear one, I think. Peach, ahí está, ahí está. 
No es todo. No, hombre, te va a gustar ese, Rubén. Thank you, bro. Me vas a hablar mañana. Chato. ¿Quieres tú uno, Chato? No, no le haces. No pisteas. No pisteas nada. Ni vironga nada. nada. Nunca le has hecho nada. Antes por ya pesado, no. Nunca, sí, yo nunca, nunca te vi así, bro. Ni a ti, ni a Roel, a nadie. hang around puros... Everybody, Ustedes so. eh, cuando tocaban <laughs> profesional, bro, ¿verdad? nada de este pedo de andar nah, borrachos we, we y la chingada. Drink, drink yeah, until, dude. We... That's the secret to his youth. Yeah, Look at him. Yeah. He looks uh, fucking young. And that's the secret to fucking having a successful band, too, that's bro. That's true, yeah. We're going to be going to Rody's Country Fried Chicken, uh, Rody's Playland on Saturday. Los vamos a ir como a las 7 de la mañana, llegar ahí como a la mediodía. Los vamos a ir a meter al cuarto en el Kickapoo. Y de ahí este, vamos a ir para Rody's Playland Because they're going to have wrestling Look at the place, it's just absolutely awesome Cuando toquen en Eagle Pass, los chamacos pasen por allí Y Rick Rody's es a toda madre Y les dan unos chicken gizzards, una caja de pollo y todo Para que lleguen en de aquellas a la tocada O después de la tocada en el camino se pueden a comer un pollito Unos gizzards y unos biscuits y todo Y no me que bárbaro, van a poner the ring You see that big old uh, volleyball pit there they're gonna put a ring there and there's gonna be live wrestling on saturday plus they'll be streaming SummerSlam from wwe it's lucha destruction live pro wrestling and it's happening at roadies playland roadies fried chicken it's right the casi la entrada de kickapuso muchas gracias a rick and everybody from uh eagle pass we're looking forward to seeing you this saturday As PVT goes on the road, ladies and gentlemen. I want to give a shout out to Rick for sending me a shirt. I, I wasn't here when everybody was wearing their shirts. So thank you, Rick, for the nice, amazing look. Yeah. Con madre. Yeah. No me faltó la cap, pero bueno, para el next time. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Oye, Chato, este, yes, Ruben, uh, yes, Ruel, hey, bro. Aquí tienen las puertas abiertas cuando quieran, Thank bro. Thank you, brother. I mean, sí. you know, este, y iban a venir la otra vez, pero se, algo pasó, no la pudieron hacer y todo, but we tried doing this show a while back, but it, it, it didn't happen, but it happened today. today. And today it just happened off the spur of the moment. I just texted this Roel this morning and this he said, morning, yeah. I'm on my way to the valley. And I was like, well, dude, you want to do the show? Mm. And he says, well, I'll see what I could do. And then he contacted you guys yeah. and you were able to make it because you got a busy schedule. And I was like, perfect. It's like all the planets aligned and, right. you know, everything was cool. And you guys came and made a surprise appearance here on Hashtag PVT. And I'm eternally grateful for you That's guys awesome. for coming here, man, and hanging out with us. Que paso de? Before we go, um, I want to ask him uh, one quick question um, because I, uh, I want to know if this is true or not. Jorge Avila says, I saw Jaime Los Chamacos when they played at the Brownsville Airport Hangar for President Clinton President presidential Clinton. campaign really? when I was a senior in high school in 1998. Wow. Yeah, true. Is that true? Yeah. Y'all played for, oh, President, for President Clinton, Clinton. bro? Damn, that's a, I mean, that's one that's got to be like a highlight. No andaba la Monica Lewinsky ahí con él. Nobody knew. No, we, no. we, we would do that. Johnny Canales hired us, right, to do that one. Ah, sí. Y lo, los volaban. We would do that campaign from Brownsville. We flew to uh, Corpus and then uh -huh. we flew to some other town. Bro. In the Air Force One, okay. No, I got an Air Force One. Uh, the little private jets, crop dusters. Hey. <laughs> That's badass, man. That's a badass story. Era uno, era uno de esos aviones que le tienes yeah. que mezclar el gas con el aceitito, verdad? Como, ah, como la, como como la, como la, la lawnmower, como, como, como la lawnmower. <laughs> That's a whole other story we can oh, talk yeah. about next time you guys come. The Johnny all... Canales era, man. Oh, yeah. I'm I Johnny. mean, you guys, Johnny Canales had you guys up here. Awesome. He sold you guys like, like man, like oh, yeah. bread, bro. I <laughs> like mean, bread, bro. Simon Carnal, like, like sliced bread, Carnal. I mean, it was. I see some of those videos on YouTube when you guys are at SeaWorld and all over the place, He, he would bro. take us everywhere on the Canada. Yeah, and, and Jaime was talking to, he actually traveled with you guys through, like, oh, yeah. I, uh, Idaho and all that area. And he was traveling with you, you know, getting yeah. those mile, miles on him uh, to promote the show because he had that vision. Yeah. It was all three bands the mother would travel. They were in Tesoros, uh -huh. and, uh, here, in Brownsville. Samuel. Los lo Leones, remember Los Leones? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And us. Hey, didn't he record guess, a song but, with you, Chato? He recorded an oh, album yeah. with y'all too. We need did a uh, Johnny Canales and Friends or something. We did yeah. two or three songs. Yeah, Pero era, those are the three groups. We we'll go everywhere with them. Yeah. What a man! What an amazing yeah. um, adventure you guys have been on for the everywhere. past thirty everywhere. something years, bro. It's an adventure, and it's like I tell everybody, you know, groups like you guys in the Tejano industry. They didn't tour for one year and then take a year to make an album. And no, it was constant freaking touring, like wrestling, like wrestlers yep. that, you know, yeah. that 
worked 300 and something. You were, you were just saying you did like, I don't know how many shows in one year. 40 something yeah. shows a year. But man, an adventure, dude. And you guys are still alive and still kicking it and still doing oh, it. Oh, yeah. Thanks to the fans. Man. Yeah, That's dude. Fans. That's incredible, man. And our families. Yeah. yeah, of course. You know, thanking our families. Yeah, man. How come les aguantó la, la mujeres a ustedes, bro? Sí, bueno. Y no, y no había cell phone back then, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, no, El, beeper. Había beeper. Había beeper. Oh, yeah. Uh, prepaid cards. Los de ahorita. Prepaid, remember the prepaid, the MCI cards, ¿verdad? The MCIs. Hey. They would give you a card and it tell you. Sí. Hablabas un rato. <laughs> Pero, hey, you know what, bro? La gente ahorita, los chavalos y la chingada, no saben de ese pedo oh. que cuando andaban en el camino, era yeah, el puro no. radio, carnal. We got it made. Era el puro, por eso salían chingo de rolas, porque pues no había más que hacer. Si no tuvieran oh, teléfono, estuvieran en el teléfono todo el camino y la chingada uh -huh. ahorita está de aquellas. But back in the day, you had to wait to get to a payphone to call somebody, bro. Yeah. yeah. You know, so the road was a lonely place, bro, you know, between shows and shit. And to get songs was hard. Can, tenía canciones. You know, you yeah. Go find LPs, find some over there. Yeah. No había nada de internet. Oh, I can, cualquier canción que quieras. Yeah, dude. It's hard. Wow. Man, ladies and gentlemen. Los Chamacos uh, here with yeah. us. And, uh, thank you, brothers. I want to thank you all. Thank you. And make sure an honor. They've got about six songs on uh, on, on YouTube right on. music and on spot, you know, on the plat streaming platforms. So what I ask all our fans is tonight, you know, get one of the songs and just let it loop all night. Lower the volume and leave it on your nightstand charging. Y pues deja la rola que haga loop para cuando se levanten en la mañana. We have 10 billion streams. Carnal, cállate la boca, chera. Carnal, entiende? Entiende, verdad? Así nos cae un centavito o algo. But get, uh, who, who's, uh, how are you putting the music up on... on, uh, on We're learning todavía. Uh, sí. Is Roel the one doing it? Vente para acá, Roel. I want to find <laughs> out. You're next. Antes que nos vayamos porque... Rose. Porque él es... Yo creo... I want to see how hey, he uploaded the bro, songs. Real quick, man. I want to give a shout out to... Uh, oh, dale, gasta. Shout out to uh, Santana Dominguez, who makes our, uh, our, our merchandise desde Rosenberg, oh. Texas. Simón. Santana. También para el best friend Gilbert uh, Rodriguez desde Rosenberg. He right. says that Chato needs to talk a little more. I just got the text message. Ah, sí. Y también, I'd like to <laughs> say... Chato ha hablado más que Roel, carnal. <laughs> I'd like to say hello to... Uh, I was very fortunate to bring my fiance Vanessa, with me. Esto, Vanessa. And we're expecting our, our child, Benji. Oh, that's Benji. Yeah. Be here. Wow, Congratulations. So thank you so hey. much, guys. Y, and you're doing an amazing job, man. Y, y sabes bien que Benjamin siempre va a estar vestido al 100. Sí. Ah, yes. <laughs> Is Benjamin? Benjamin Franklin está en el 100. Uh, yeah, yeah. I get it, I get it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> yeah. Little Benji's. Hey. So I want to thank, uh, un saludo para la, pa el chavo que hace las, uh, el merchandise de los chamacos, de la que hace las caps que no nos trajeron una, ¿me entiendes? Este, <laughs> sí, ninguna <laughs> pinche <laughs> cap me trajeron, carnal. <laughs> o si me, la, si me la da Roel, quiero que la firmen todos, ¿ok? Yeah, Órale, <laughs> aquí te vas a ir sin cap, Roel. Sacar aquí. Te hace sin cap. Aquí se quedó. Yeah. Oye, aquí la colgamos, bro. Y cada oh, vez que taxes. vean, every time you see the show, you're going to see. Roel's got a different one. ¿Qué dice esa Roel? Uh, Texas, Texas Brick, Brick Oven. Oh, Texas That's Brick Oven. my little brother's pizza place oh. in, in Alice. Nice. In Alice. There you go by Alice. Vamos go by this place. Right. Right. We're going to ride my Harley and we're going to go over there and stop Just there. Call me up and I'll take you up. Orale, carnal. Yeah, man. That That's sounds awesome. like a plan, bro. So, what are you you're, you're, you're uploading? Huh? Oh, yeah, they're closed Sunday, Monday. Ah, barbers. sí. No, yo voy el Saturday, carnal. El Saturday me subo <laughs> en la yonca. No más que se refresque, bro, porque ahorita 112 ah, degrees para andar en la oh, motorcycle está oh, cabrón, oh. carnal. And we like to ride. Mi uh, ojitos aquí de volada le pega heat, heat stroke. stroke y yes. la chingada, ¿entiendes? Yeah. Este, so you're, you're uploading the music on YouTube on your channel. We try to, yeah. Okay. Because it's, it's a process, you know. And uh, are you do, do you have a platform where you go to, like, uh, like um, um, there's, like, CD Baby, I think it's called. There's certain. I think the last one I used services. Was, um, you I can't remember the, the name of it. TuneCore uh, was. TuneCore, yeah. TuneCore is one of the more popular ones. Distro Kid is another Distro one. Distro Kid, that's yeah. the last one I used. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. super easy to use that one. Yeah, yeah, that's the last one I used. And then you don't, you, don't, you guys probably get some pretty decent uh, revenue off the off the streams, right? I mean, I'm sure a lot of people, you know. No te dan casi nada, bro. I know, right, Maybe bro? I, like, I, like you said earlier, if I would just do it over and over and over and over. And over <laughs> yeah. I never thought about that one. Yeah. I yeah. think yeah. I watch it yeah. once. Yeah. When I upload it, I watch it once, yeah. and that's about it. Yeah, yeah. No, no, just leave it going. But 
the thing about it is there's like you get pennies to the dollar. Usually like I have TuneCore as well and I uploaded my music and I get enough streams to just pay the annual fee to fucking keep $30 going, $30 bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the 30 bucks, That's 20 weird. bucks. I'm like, wait, as, as long as I don't got to pay it again That's and true. it pays for itself, pays I'm for good, itself. man. It keeps, <laughs> you know, yeah. so it's all good, man. Well, Roel. Muchas gracias, bro. And oh, I appreciate you. you. I know we we're supposed to do this a while back. and uh, I wouldn't I, mind. I, I think we got a gig or something. I call you right away. I say, hey, man, we can't do it. We got to reschedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I wouldn't mind having you and your dad here, bro, and talk to your dad about the old school stuff, man. Well, if you want him, I'll bring him. Yeah? Yeah. Orale, carnal. That'd yeah. be awesome. Los, can schedule that. Los Joslins? Yeah. Sir, also, yes, if you want, uh, bring Upper Canales, you know. Yeah, from, from Uno de Oro. Yeah, know? man. It wasn't for him, you know. He's the guy that um, that helped us out when all this he, happened. You stepped know, in. dude, he give us in. give him my number. You know, give so. him my number and tell him to text me, and then I'll send him a date and bring him in here so we can talk to. I love having people over to the show, and I appreciate you guys taking the time on a Tuesday night to come out here and and uh, and, and and join us, man, and oh, talk no, to we us. And, you too, man. you know, you. I really appreciate that, Royal. And uh, I'm always rooting for you guys. All right, whatever yes. you guys need, we're here. And you just yeah. let us know whenever you're going to release something so we can, uh, and then everything you post on social media, I'm going to be sharing and all that so we can help okay. you guys out. And hopefully you'll be able to come back and play again here at Cobra so we can go check out the show because we didn't, and the Ibarra boys were there with you yeah. guys. Yeah, Those kids man, are spectacular, man. They're special, they, bro. They stole the show. Yeah, yeah. man. I saw a video where they were jamming with you on stage. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. That's awesome, dude. That's, I mean, those yeah. kids, I mean, those kids, bro. I asked the kid he was here, I asked him, who's your, uh, who's your ins- inspiration and the the accordion kid, he said, uh, Esteban Jordan. I, I yeah. want to be like Esteban Jordan. I was like, wait, yeah. <laughs> so he's really 11 up. years old, bro. Yeah. And he knows about Esteban Jordan. So, man, those yeah. are the kids that are going to continue this culture and this generation of music. And uh, and I'm glad you guys were there to inspire them, bro. Yeah. yeah. You know? It was really good. We did a, we did a, we did a, their, their first Volca, right? Volca. Me and, yeah. well, me and Ruben. Uh-huh. Ruben got a hold of his dad and then uh-huh. they invited me. So I did the bass and Ruben did the drums. Yeah. It turned out awesome, man. Well, yeah, we'll call it a night because you guys yeah. got to drive back to Alice. That's about a two, a two and a half hour drive, something like that. Hour and a half. An hour and a half. Yeah, it's like 90 minutes. Yeah. Uh, but ahora prima, no te tienes que ir por prima, yeah. ¿verdad? Tal Saca expressway. Por eso prima, chinga. Parece en la tiendita. Yo le dije a mi yeah. wife, man, they're going to ruin the little town. Le dije, no, they're going to build uh, by the expressway over here. There's going to be more business for them. And this will be considered a limb, so it'll yeah. grow, you know. But uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so much for spending your time with us. I know it's a little bit late, and it's past your bedtime. Y ya porita se tienen que tomar sus pastillas y todos se tienen que dormir y tomar su agüita y todo, verdad? Pero muchas gracias por acompañarnos y pues uh, les deseamos uh, buena suerte a todos ustedes. Y thank you so much. We're going to be here again next week with Gabriela Martinez. She's a uh, a female singer uh, that reached out and we're going to bring her in and we're going to see uh, her, you know, get to know her and stuff like that. But we appreciate your support. And don't forget to see us at Eagle Pass, Texas, Roadies Playland. We will be there Saturday night for a wrestling spectacular. Put that poster up again one last time, baby. Lucha Destruction. Now, I know on Saturday, all you wrestling fans, Summer Slam is Saturday night and it's on pay-per-view. They will be streaming it live on a big screen TV there so you can go have some chicken, have some gizzards, and we're going to have a blast, man. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be all kinds of wrestling. So make sure to take your kids, take your family out there, and enjoy our show at uh, Rody's Country Playland. All right. You all have a... Okay, paso de. Oh, just I want to give a quick shout out to Esmeralda G. Puente for the several uh, super chats she sent. She didn't ask no questions, but she did send the several thank super you. chats. So thank you, Esmeralda G. Puente, for all your super chats. Thank Muchas you. gracias todos. Everybody, uh, you know, wave at the cameras and we'll see you next time. God bless you all. Support los chamacos. <laughs> Fueron tus celos. <laughs>